Aloha puna e wele aloha. It's good to be back. That was Hello Internet Friends in Hawaiian. Oh. Neat. Uh, you know, you learned something today. Uh, although I had to Google it. <laughs> Strangely, uh, you do not learn a lot of Hawaiian in one week in Hawaii. Uh, hello, thank you so much for spending part of your geek end with us. This is the Great Dane Society. We are playing Call of Cthulhu. And it's so good to be back. Last week was epic. It was crazy. Uh, this, I thought the the table was full of who knows what. It was, there were camera Everything. angles. I'm surprised there wasn't a smoke machine. Um, I think the lesson there, folks, is if you can get in a game that Spike is running, get in that game because yeah. the production values are going to be crazy. Uh, and the story I really enjoyed. Uh, um, I was just telling them that uh, I have a whole little section here in my notebook of callbacks to the D&D game. Uh, he did a great job of uh, Thanks. tying in. What? <laughs> tying what did in. I do? You don't want to be here. Uh, so, <laughs> Spike, thank you so much. That was awesome. Yes. Uh, the next time I go on vacation, we're going to get a much worse GM, so I don't look quite as bad. <laughs> I think is the, the, the key here. Uh, it's, you know, it's Saturday, we're playing games. Gordon Biersch has given us some lovely beverages. Cheers. We love Gordon Biersch. I mean, I like their root beer, which they used to have on tap, but you can't find on tap anymore, which oh. makes me sad. Mm -hmm. Gordon Biersch, make root beer again. It was delicious. Uh, Nord Games, speaking of, the. Uh, our friends, our partners. If you uh, hit Nord Games uh, in the chat, you're going to get 20% off of anything you order there. Uh, did they? They used. Did you guys use the critical and the? Yes. Yeah. We yeah. used all of the decks. Yeah. Yes. And some of them were used against Spike, which was very amusing that to me awesome. because yeah, I know. Even, <laughs> even when the GM rolls a one, there's a critical fumble that happens, and hey. he was swearing a lot. It was yeah, great. Yeah. You gotta. You gotta. You know. You gotta go where the dice take you. That's why Gavigan fell off of his dragon. Because, <laughs> You know, it was it was ignominious, but that's what happens. Uh, we have all over this table. We have awesome dice from our friends at Birds of Paradise. Andrea, who's always in our chat, is making these dice. They will be. It's not Kickstarter, right? They're actually opening a store. Yeah, she's yeah. she's working on actually building a store, but you know, uh, Lunar New Year yeah. in, in China has slowed everything down it's, as it does. It's a, it's amazing uh, in the board game world, especially everybody's trying to get their games out before Chinese New Year, or it's like a month delay. Mm -hmm. It's uh, gosh, I wish we could just shut down for a month. That'd be, <laughs> That'd be really nice sometimes. Uh, but gong <laughs> fat choi to all of our uh, 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 anybody who celebrates Lunar New Year. It's yeah, uh, Year of the Rat, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Year of the cool. Rat. Uh, and that uh, the rat. Oh gosh, what is it? The rat is. Yeah, I would just mess it up. I'm not gonna. Fair. <laughs> um, Look it up. So yeah, Birds of Paradise, awesome dice. They are coming soon. I wasn't lucky enough to get any of the prototypes, but I will be. Uh, so you I just want to point those. out one thing here that uh, Nick and I were talking about, and that is the font on these dice, which you can't see, and no, I'm sorry, but, <laughs> but the font on them is fantastic. Yes. It's readable. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the, the the choice of color with the color of the dice is fantastic. I can't say enough good things about these Birds of Paradise. I was just telling the fine folks here that I have one set of dice that I use mm -hmm. for everything. I'm getting Birds of Paradise dice because they are that good. They, Dang. They are sweet, and I want more of them. And if you guys want to see pictures of them, Andrea has them in the self-promotion section of our Discord, which you can join by hitting exclamation point Discord in the chat. I'm going to put my headshot up in the self-promotion. Uh, Excellent. My headshot from, like, sixth grade. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, the last time that we were all together, not rolling initiative, was uh, uh, you're in the city of Lesser Edale, uh, the lovely, uh, lovely. city's a strong word. You're in the, the hamlet of Lesser mm -hmm. Edale. Uh, and let's see here, I have a map of Lesser Edale for its massive environs. Come on, production values, come on. Yeah. I mean, Chaos and make, make some really pretty maps. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, that, this is actually, uh, the, oh yeah, that is the Chaos of It's also in the corner. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, no, this is the HP Lovecraft uh, Society. This is the from the prop set. It's ah. right. It's licensed from Chaosium. But, oh, um, apologies. Uh, uh, but they do, the, the, the Lovecraft Society does amazing stuff with their prop kit. But, uh, so you were in the town of Lesser Edale, and uh, you had um, you had split up, which I always love, <laughs> and 
you and... So, Yosef and Emma. Yosef and Emma had gone to talk to the vicar, mm -hmm. uh, and that, that went great. Uh, yeah, very great. You are convinced... Somebody's convinced the vicar is a werewolf. Mm. Uh, <laughs> someone who hasn't met the vicar is convinced... You know the what? <laughs> um, vicar's a lovely man. Yeah. Uh, and you are returning to the public house... The, what is it called? The something... The Laughing, laughing, horse. laughing horse. horse. The Laughing yeah. Horse. You are returning to the Laughing Horse. You three had gone out on a tracking expedition to hunt down who knows what, and you'd found a cave yep. that as you went into, you heard whispers, and you started to smell a just charnel, horrible smell that uh, made you turn back and head to the Laughing Horse. And when you got to the Laughing Horse... Sitting there was this gentleman, Lawrence Vane, What's Vane? who introduced himself and uh, was going to. Uh, the earth is moving. I mean, always, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and was going to tell you about the, uh, the, the monster. Mm -hmm. uh, his, I believe his words to you were Hello, I understand you wish to know about the, the monster. We've all been drinking beforehand, so we're not. Yes, you three are this, are right? toasted. We're... Yeah. Uh, so toasted. I want to cut to you and Emma. Right. So you are returning from the uh, uh, from the vicar's house, heading to the Laughing Horse. Emma grabs you by the shoulders, looks you in the eye. Her eyes are solid black, and says, "Oh God, it happened again," and passes out. Priestess. <laughs> Oh Lord! Uh, I'll, I'll try to try to wake her up a little bit, not too not too She's hard. Unresponsive. Just very slight, useless gestures to wake her up. Yeah, yeah. No, she. You're shaking of her shoulders. Uh, none of the rest of the PR parties here. Nope. It's I just, don't know what you're in. Like the middle of. She's the middle of the make street. Make me a luck roll. Let's oh see. Lord! <laughs> use it, use it. Oh, that's oh. good. Zero seven. All right. Excellent. So I will let you decide since you rolled so well. Do you want the constable to come by now or not? Not. Okay. It's just, yeah. So after, there's no way that's bad. At some point, Yosef will just have to very, very carefully, and it'll take a long time because he's gonna be way, way too careful because he knows what's wrong with her. But he'll gently get her up and probably have to drag her, <laughs> grab her chest, and drag <laughs> her feet, and kind of get her back to the public house <laughs> and make sure she's okay, and then put her in her room. All right. So and take you, off her shoes. You get lay her on the bed. <laughs> you get to the laughing horse mm -hmm. and you struggle the door open. Yeah. And so the door slams open right as Vane says that. Mm -hmm. And you, everyone, like, you're yeah. the only people in the place. And he comes in dragging Emma. <laughs> ah, she's been drinking too. <laughs> <laughs> You guys started without us? Yosef, what happened? I, I, I don't know. Um, could I have your help, please? Yes. Um, oh, yes. I, I, come over. I'll, I'll put it down yeah. slowly, slowly, yeah. Yeah. slowly. We've done this before. First aid. What, first aid. What, what? Vain, first aid. No, no. All right, make a first aid roll. No, Vain? it's not that. It's, it's not, a, it's not that. It's uh, something different, something strange. Her eyes went black. Has that happened before? Right. She said it happened right. before. Um, she is breathing. Okay. Uh, the closest thing you can think of is she's in a coma of some sort. She is unresponsive. Like, if you lift her eyelids up, her eyes don't move at all. No, uh, no dilation. There's no dilation. There's nothing. Uh, we were just on the street. But they're not pitch black. They're she's not pitch black. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Vane were comes in with a glass of water. Uh, she's... Is your friend all right? Oh, yeah, she'll she, be okay. She fainted. We're, we're going to we're gonna take care of her. We're going to bring her up. Uh, we'll do you, you need a her. doctor? Do we need a no. doctor? No. No. No, 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 no. no. No, we're good. She She's has she has fainting spells periodically, so we're going to get her up to we'll get, up to uh, get her to her room so and get her to bed. Yeah. Yeah. I really think she needs a doctor. Oh, we'll be okay. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll, look, well, if 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 she does, who do you suggest? Well, as you know, Edale is a, a rather small town. Yes. Um, we have a doctor up at the castle. Oh, well, maybe we do need a doctor. Uh. Let's let's put her in bed first, and then we'll 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 we'll, we'll see where we can go. Yes. Does does oh, your okay. doctor make house calls, or would we need to bring her? And okay. I'd have to ask my father. Uh. Um, but oh, I, I would look. I would be happy to host you at the castle. It's the least I could do. I mean, first of all, 
I don't want to say this too loudly, mm. but I, I'm not sure you want to sleep in this establishment. And I'm sure he says it loudly mm. enough that, yeah. the, that, the, that the bartender hears that. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, what's his name? Uh, the guy's name oh, is... What's his name? Is his father. Uh, Emma would be pissed off if she missed an opportunity to wake up in a castle. <laughs> Nice. I think we should take him up on his offer. I agree. Yeah. We wanted to get into the castle anyway. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Say, oh, you know, that, sir, that is such a generous offer, and we are going to take you up on it. Let's 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 carry her. You guys. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll we'll carry her. Yeah, yeah. Love. Um, oh, there's no need for that. I'll, I'll call for the car. Oh. Okay. Mm. So he um, he goes up to the uh, the innkeeper and he says, "Jeremy, would you be a dear and call the car around? Thank you." Uh, so, what happened to her? Oh, she faint, fainted. She fainted outside. I'm gonna at least stuff like my jacket under her head or something. Yeah, that's yeah. very she nice. Just lay yeah. on the floor. Or? Yeah. At okay. The moment, yeah. 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 I mean, just keep checking on her. Mm -hmm. Um, it, is she going to wake up? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's still breathing. She's still her. He, she's a little. Her eyes are a little unresponsive. But as far as I can tell, she's still breathing. She's n normally breathing. She's no. Oh, she's not. Okay. Normally. She's breathing normally <laughs> is what you meant to. Has she been drugged? Oh uh, no 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 I, I no no we will. Me. No, she didn't drink any tea. We, we were at the Vickers. She didn't drink any tea. She didn't have any tea at all. Sorry. <laughs> Good callback the there. Tea. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The vicar does have lovely tea, but um, I doubt he would drug anyone. You see, have you experienced someone fainting? Well, I, I have. I have not. But they tell me this happened mm. before. <laughs> right. I mean we. Oh. Don't call it fainting, but... Um, yes. You see, people who faint ga regain consciousness rather quickly, mm. or there's substantial danger to them. <sighs> well, we're going to keep her covered, and, and, and we'll, we'll, we definitely will... We'll, uh, I guess we should see that doctor. Use the services, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We'll, uh, we'll Out of them. obscene curiosity, now, I just... Hug at the headdress to see if, <laughs> uh -oh. if it comes off. Mm. Make a pow roll. <laughs> ha. Not happening. Oh. Did uh, it happen? Yeah, I got a five. Oh. I, is that ooh. a hard success? That's a, that's a, that's a critical. That's a critical success. <laughs> what was that about leaving things to the dice? Mm. I didn't expect. <laughs> Okay, it happened though. Um, it's your fault. You do, let me make the roll. Do you want the headdress to come off or not? I don't know. Should I roll a dice? Odd even. We can vote on it. Oh, do you want to vote? No, no, Let's no. Just, you you roll the dice. Odds it's, it it's, comes. It's your odds choice. Odds it stays on. Odds it comes off. All right. So, make me a luck roll now. Oh, come on! <laughs> Come on, you know what happens. You've got a control yes. room laugh. Now, now, yes. Now the whole thing's getting derailed again. Yeah, no. All right. You reach down, and originally you're just like, I'm just going to give it a little tug. And it slips right off. Mm -hmm. And you have a strong compunction to put this thing on. Uh, you three make me spot hidden rolls. Nice. Failed. Success. Can it be aided by me saying, oh, dear God? <laughs> uh, Did we get an oh, advantage totally. die with that one? I got a hard. All right, you both you both see, like, Silvano just reaches down and, like, seems surprised when the headdress comes off. And now he's sort of just standing there staring at the headdress. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey, I'll take care of that for you, uh, Silvano. <laughs> Joan, we've talked about this. I'm just trying Joan, to help. we've talked uh, about uh, this. Uh, uh, I mean, you're, you're saying I have a compulsion, but I, I, I would internally have a different compulsion <laughs> towards it. Make, but. A, make a power roll. Uh, oh, no. No. <laughs> no. No, why are you doing this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is I'm what you sorry. get for, for, for being aiming. <laughs> yes. You're in a seat. Uh, roll it in. Oh, oh, my God. I might, I might make it. I've got a 50-50 chance. 
I make it. Yeah. All right. Another you, critical. You no, are no, just, just on just the line. I so, made my pow. Wow. So you feel this strong compunction, and there's like the first twitch of your hand, but you fight it off. There is just like an overwhelming urge to put it on, and then you fight it off, and it's gone. Oh, I'm good. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna wrap it in something. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull a little drawstring. Oh, I grab the jacket out from under him. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, way, that's way funnier than what I was thinking. All right. And I, I, I just ball it up. Okay. And she, nothing. No twitches, no, nothing. No, no reaction. Uh, <sighs> I was thinking it was that Vane is dress. very confused by what we just happened. We are too, honestly. We wanted to make sure she was comfortable, so we took off the headdress that she was wearing. And, you know, that thing that, which is pretty. Yeah, I see, of yeah. course, of yeah. course. Um, well, and uh, at this point, there's a honk outside. Actually, well, it's more of a ah, ooga, ah, ooga. Yeah. <laughs> the old style honking. Um, and and you go outside, and when he said car, this is like one of those old school like the seats are outside, the wheels are like wagon wheels almost. This is it's a. Wow. Uh, Vane like pulls these goggles down. Amazing. <laughs> um, the guy who brought it is this uh, is is dressed clearly as a butler. And uh, Vane says, uh, thank you, Tidwell, that will be enough. Um, I'm going to take my new friends here to the castle. You can walk back. Of course, sir. Oh, dear. Maybe we should get our belongings. I was just thinking that. We haven't had a chance to unpack, so we can just run and grab them. Yes. All right, chop, chop, let's go. <laughs> Only so much petrol. <laughs> Well, let's get our things. Grab, yeah, I'm putting yeah, Emma in. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna while, while they're loading Emma. You, I'm gonna. So at least one of you is like on the running board of this thing. Probably two of you on either side. I have the highest dexterity. I probably won't fall off. Although those are famous last oh, words. There, there is the, <laughs> the only way you'd fall off of this thing is if you let go, because you're you're going about twenty miles an hour. Gotcha, 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 <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, nice. gotcha, gotcha. And so, as you as you start to go uphill to the castle, even slower. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm we're, 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 uh, a couple of us are right. gonna run inside and like grab right, our carpet so, bags sure. and come back yeah, out with yeah, our yeah, things. Light because yeah. everything went down. Yeah. yeah. The as you as you run up to the rooms, the guy goes, "Uh, you paid in advance. We know." We're just going to the backup castle. This is now our backup hotel. Yes. Link to the backup castle. <laughs> right, so I'm, I'm coming down. I'm carrying at least mine and Emma's stuff. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. And someone can yep. grab Silvano's. So I'll grab yep. Silvano's yeah, stuff. Thank you. Stuff. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, so yeah, you have this All is heavy. Cool. What do you have in here? I won't ask. <laughs> Rocks, probably. Receipts. <laughs> several, several rifles and <laughs> receipts. Books. Yes. Guns and then just like one book. <laughs> Donald, you're not here. Go away. My, your stuff is here, though. <laughs> he will be here in spirit into in perpetuity. <laughs> the rifles calls to you. <laughs> also, um, not to derail, but we still have inspiration, don't we? Yes, that's right. Thank you. I've done this before. <laughs> I've been staring at the overflowing box. You have, <laughs> you have four. Yeah. Oh. I don't, I mean, well, four's good. so yeah, we had four. you have four yeah. from our last session. I'm yes. not counting from the one shot. Oh. Well, and, and, and we had four left over from, from the one, one shot because we put a bunch into the book of inspiration. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, you got Cthulhu in there, though. Oh, that was, that was a shot. Cthulhu. Excellent. Cthulhu went in. <laughs> he moved the box. Oh, that was sad. Um, uh, yes, you have four left over from last time. Thank so you, I sir. Mark that off. Right on. All right, uh, so yeah, you begin the the longer than you would expect drive to Castlevane. Uh, the butler, is he walking beside the car? <laughs> <laughs> he can't walk 25 miles an hour. Uh, okay. uh, so you head... I'd love that, though. ...up the hill, up this road, up the hill to the castle. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a little ways from there. It is, uh, it is a castle. It is... Uh, Crenellations and all. It has seen better days, huh. but it is still a um, it is still a lovely castle. Uh, Vintage. Who? Hmm. Uh, which? So you're UK ish. Ish. And yeah. you're UK. UK and United States. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you can both make me European roll. History roll. Mm -hmm. okay. um, you're mm -hmm. going to need a hard sure. success. I have. Five percent and uh, forty-eight's a fail. All right, nope. Sorry. Everything's fine. Uh, Great. So, 
That's my favorite so, sentence. So, but but uh, you know, would I be able to see like what what uh, era it came from or anything? Oh like sure, that? yeah. Uh, uh, you can make a uh, you do history or you want me to do? Uh... Yeah, um, let's go with an archaeology role for you. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Um, got yeah. All right. So yeah. what's clear to you is that this castle has is it's old, but it's been rebuilt several times. Okay. Mm. Uh, there are pieces that are uh, older, pieces that are newer. Now it, it it looks more like a Victorian manor these days. Mm, uh, okay. It's been it's been definitely retooled, um, although it still has crenellations and it still has very much a castle feel to it. Um, and. Uh, yeah, you you also get with that that you know this was clearly this was built because it overlooks the village. You know this was in its in its day this was a defensive ca- this was a you know Lord of All I Survey castle sort of place. Makes you're sense. you're up on the hill. You're about I don't know five hundred feet above the above the the hamlet. So you have a, a lovely view of everything. Um, for instance, you can see a very familiar hill. As you go up this hill to your left is the hill where you found that cave. Interesting. Mm. Um, All right. Mamtor, it was called. Mamtor. Mm-hmm. The <coughs> mother. Mother hill. Because I'm tight. So yeah, you um, you come up, and uh, when he gets to the gate, auga, auga, and like two 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 like uh, stewards come and open the door, uh, and the the putters in, and uh, the. The head man, the head, the head butler, is waiting, and uh, Vane will tell him to prepare you rooms. Um, and he says, "Very good, sir." And he will lead you to the second floor. Mm-hmm. So you come in. There is a there's a foyer when you come in immediately, and uh, you'll notice that inside uh, again, this place has been redone. So the inside is mostly wood now. Mm. Uh, it is it is <coughs> it's nice, Bless you. you know, but it, it's not like. This is not like fu money. This mm. is, you know, the um, it's it's nice, but there's not like you know gold leaf everywhere and sure. that sort of thing. It's and um, you'll go. They'll take you up to the second floor. Uh, each of you has your own bedroom. Uh, everybody on the second floor, make me a listen roll. Ooh. Ah. Listen. Sixty-five. Let's see. Oh yes. Regular success. I got regular I got success. Extreme success. Regular. Extreme success. That's what yes, I was looking sir. for. Uh, so with an extreme success, you hear on the same floor a woman crying. Hmm. I'm gonna see if I can like with, without without giving myself away. See, let me see if I can track about which direction it's coming from. We're gonna heave ho him on. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three. Yeah. I need to look at a stat block real quick. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to give a disadvantage on that roll because you have some experience in disguising things like that. Oh, doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, you um, so you come up the stairs. It's one of those you know mm-hmm. double stairways up. Your rooms are to the right. The crying is to the left. And. Um, The uh, um, the servant will uh, show you each to your rooms. Mm-hmm. Emma's room, when when she goes in, uh, Vane is already there with a gentleman that you presume is the doctor, okay. um, just from the black bag. Mm. Um, and uh, Vane, I think we're going to leave her in the care of the doctor. Well, I'd and like to to stay and and and. Uh, uh, See if we can we can help it all. Uh, make me a persuade roll, or you know, if you have a charm, or I mean, uh, I guess if you want to intimidate, they could try that. I don't, I don't have I any. I got the crowbar. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> crowbar. Yeah, I don't really have those. I have. I do have persuade. All right. Oh, but I did. I did get a a, a good way. Yeah, a hard success. All right. Um, sure. Yeah, Vane will right. say, well, I, of course. Um, 
if you um, he'll take your bag and he'll put it in your room uh, and then he's gonna close the door mm-hmm. um, and oh he'll he'll uh, actually he so you three he'll say uh, dinner is at six uh, do freshen up before dinner certainly thank you thank you did you bring any more appropriate dress <sighs> dressing for dinner not really I'm afraid mm-hmm. we were not we were not expecting the kindness of your hospitality well mm-hmm. I do have a jacket and a collared shirt and well that's a start and um, I should just tell you that my my father is a uh, uh, an old-fashioned man a traditionalist yes, yes. Uh, well, very well. Uh, I shall uh, I shall make sure the doctor takes care of your friend, and uh, if you need anything, just pull the rope in your room. Hmm. All right, thank you very much. Of course. Uh, and then he will go off. He will come in briefly to, uh, after that, come into the room, and he'll tell you that dinner is at six, uh, and that you should dress appropriately. And uh, uh, And then he will... Uh, he'll just ask the doctor how she is, and the doctor will say, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, and that will be pretty much the sum total of what the doctor does this whole time. It's just being very confused at how someone is entirely stable, but utterly non-responsive. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I'm, how, how, what time is it about? Four or five? Four for 4.30? Sure. Okay. Time is a construct. <laughs> well, how long until dinner? Maybe that's a good about an hour, yeah. hour okay. and a half. Okay. All right. Um, once I have my things set down in in my room and arranged in a more or less agreeable arrangement, I'm just like, I have nothing to wear to dinner, and this is annoying. But I'm gonna like stick my head out into the hall and see if anyone is out there because I want to see if I can track down that crime. There's no one in the hall. Okay. So I'm gonna come out and just like make my quiet way toward toward that end and see if I can still hear her. Okay, make a stealth roll. <clears throat> In a minute, let me do stealth. In the box. In the box. <laughs> uh, yes, barely. All right, so you are the knight. <laughs> um, you creep across uh, the, the lush carpeting of this, uh, of this uh, thing, and you get to the junction with the stairway, mm-hmm. and you know, you glance down, and there's there's nobody there, and so you continue across. Uh, and in this hallway, there are two doors on each side, mm-hmm. and uh, the crying, which is much fainter, but you got a great roll, so you can still hear it. Uh, the crying is in the farthest on the left. Okay, uh, I'm. It's now more like sniffling. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit closer and see if I can discern anything else from the sounds. No, nope, it's just the sounds of a young woman sniffling. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to tap very lightly on the door. Uh, that face says I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> a werewolf jumps out. And gets you. Lawrence, is that you? Uh, no, I'm I'm not Lawrence. Who who are, who's this? Uh, my name is Alexandria. I'm I'm a guest of Lawrence. How can I help you? Oh, I I heard some some distressing noises down here, and I wanted to see if everything was all right. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alexandria doesn't twitch at that quite as much as Tiana does. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> all right. Well. I I apologize for disturbing you. All of this is happening through a closed... Like, the door hasn't even opened up. Yeah, I didn't figure. Um, Would you do me a favor? If I can, certainly. Would you try to open this door? Uh, is it locked? I don't know. All right. I'm gonna like look. I'm gonna look at the door handle because I've had some bad experiences with doors. <laughs> All right. What are you looking for? Um. Anything that looks like a symbol that I might have seen before, or barring that, like something weird about the door handle. Okay. Uh. What do we call this? Let's say a spot hidden roll. Sure. Okay. Nope. Crit- it is a fumble, in fact. Was it? It was a ninety-seven. Was it? 
Yes. All right. I go from doing so well. Hmm. Andrea, I love you, but your dice have betrayed me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, you go to touch the door, mm -hmm. and that symbol flashes gold on the door. Hmm. And make a con roll. <gasps> no. Yeah. It wasn't there, a fumble. Um, so you three can make listen rolls. Okay. okay. We can. Do you want to show You that? may attempt. Uh, uh, 69. Uh, 12. Is it? This symbol. This symbol's on the door. Nope. I'm in the shower. So. Thank you. <laughs> Refreshing up. Nobody yeah. made their up. listen roll? Nope. I love it. No. Nope. Awesome. All right. So there is a distinct um, sort of noise, mm. and you go flying backwards. Oh. Just like, um, oh. Okay. And you take two points of damage. Great. Wow. Um, and we didn't hear that. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's what that roll was for. Yeah, well, it was all the way down the other end of the corridor. Got it. Yeah. Miss? The professor shouldn't have, uh, you know, turned on her radio. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, do you have electricity hooked up to the door or something? What's, what sort of question is that? Is the door locked or not? I couldn't tell you. When I touched it, it threw me backwards. Huh. I see. Are you going to dinner? Yes. Well, I, I suppose I'll see you there then. Probably. I'm the one with the short red hair. <laughs> I'm supposed to have long red hair. Yep. <laughs> uh, are, 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 are any of you doing anything before dinner? No, just, oh, I was just fresh enough a bit then wait for the others. To I'm not drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so sobering up yes. is really... Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to go through all my clothes well, and see if there's something that would be more appropriate. There than... must be an afternoon tea. Before dinner. Not at four uh, You've already missed it. We've missed yes. it. Oh, we've it's missed it. It's at four, yeah. Well, well it's, I had some tea with the vicar, though, so. Yeah, so <laughs> you did <laughs> the tea. Oh, you did drink the tea. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to freshen up as best as I can, limping a little bit from new bruises. Uh, yes, yes. OK. Uh, so you come out at 6 o'clock, and uh, uh, the Tidwell is there, and uh, the butler. And uh, he will lead you down stairs uh, to a, I mean, grand is probably a uh, exaggeration, but a a, a a lovely dining hall. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, you know, it's a table that could be probably set for a dozen. Uh, and sitting there are Lawrence Vane. At the head of the table, a gentleman that you assume is Lord Vane. Mm. He's never stand up as well. So I should use like clips or something. I don't know. Drinking too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, go. he has. There we go. Uh, and a young lady, hmm. who you will come to find is Eloise Vane. Eloise. Uh, and um, you are. Everybody, make me a credit rating roll. Yes. Oh, wow. This is zero one. Holy shit. Holy oh, wow. shit. Oh, my I'm credit reading, I got, I got a zero eight. I got a five. That, I succeeded, but only. Nikes. I succeeded. That's sobering up, pain. That's oh. <laughs> I succeeded, but only just. It's a hard success. Did. Yeah. Like, you were expecting Lord Vane to be uh, uh, kind of snooty and standoffish, but this he is seems my best to. Have, shirt. He seems to, you know, like warm to you immediately. And, oh, uh, awesome. Um, so he will introduce himself. Uh, um, here we can we can put Emma on the board. <laughs> Aww, uh, in her bed. Aww. Uh, so uh, uh, he will introduce himself, Lord uh, Arthur Vane, uh, MP. Hmm. Uh, he is uh, he he is a local member. He's a a mem sorry not MP. He is a peer. So he's uh -huh. a member gotcha. of the House of Lords. Um, and uh, when he says that, you know, you two, being mm -hmm. from England, you're like, oh, yeah, that name sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Kind of an inconsequential, you know, one of those lords that is a lord, but... But no one pays any attention yeah. to. Yeah. Not really. They use his name in vain. Not, <laughs> uh, 
Mm. Not really mm. politically advantageous, I mean, but. This <laughs> is yeah. the first Lord I've met in person, though, so. Yeah, very. I, I still would be pretty impressed with yeah. this. Yeah, yes. You get over it pretty quickly. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> I take it you've already met my son, Lawrence. Mm -hmm. pride, yes. of, pride of my life, he is. Aww. Good boy. Yes. He's a good boy. Very, very kind young man. And uh, the, 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 the key to my heart, my beautiful daughter, Eloise. Oh, oh. nice to meet you. Uh, everybody make a psychology roll. Oh. You have an advantage, Doc. I do? Cool. Zero two. No. Whoa. Man. That's oh, great. God, I got a four. I don't know what to do if you people are going to so roll well. That, I, that, I, I, the, I didn't get it even with the advantage. I only really have a 10 success. with this character. All right. Well, so you two, Check did you make it? No. Okay. You two. So like, close, though. Mm. She is, to you, obviously sad. Like, there's a sadness in her eyes that just can't be, uh, can't be disguised. Uh, and... Um, when when you know when Lord Vane introduces her and that sort of thing, she she's very politely smiles and and nods, but she doesn't offer a lot. The professors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you both got like critical successes on the credit mm, rating roll. Oh yeah uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. yes yes. No, I just credit. got hard. I just got hard. For credit. I don't know how my credit has been only going down. Yeah, I, I'm a student. Uh, I introduced myself as an accountant or something. <laughs> it's like oh. You work with money. Um, oh, yes. Okay, there you go. You were so he's gonna have you sit next to Eloise. Okay. Mm. Money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and he like you know since uh, so <laughs> when you were when you first come in, all the other chairs for you guys were at the other end of the table. Mm. But like as soon as Vane takes a liking to you, he like has them pull the chairs in closer, and he's like. And he's like, you, what was your name again? Oh, uh, Silvano. Silvano. Is that Italian? Yes. Well, always good to have a European around. You should sit by my daughter here. Eloise, this is Silvano. Mr. C Costa. Mr. Costa. Uh, you know, you don't, want the, you don't want the ladies getting too familiar. Uh, so... What brings you lot to my little town? Oh. I look at everyone else to go first. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea, but I'm going to... Well, we, we were ex in, investigating a local legend, and actually what's very interesting is we had heard a story that um, a, a, an interesting artifact was recovered at this castle not that long ago. It was a, a round stone in the shape of a circle that had an old Celtic ruin of some sort carved upon it, and like in the shape of a star. Um, and that was very intriguing to us. It was supposedly located here in Castle Bane. But there's also an interesting uh, story about a, a, a crazy monster that was terrorizing the village that we thought was somewhat uh, fascinating enough that we might want to hear the story and, and visit this lovely hamlet for uh, maybe a day or so. All right, everybody can make psychology rolls again. Holy shit, I made it. Well I did too. What? So if anybody gets a hard success, let me know. I'm just shocked that I got it. So, um, Not a hard one. Zero six would be below a 10, so that's that's a hard success, right? Mm, so, no. No, it's hard it's success. It's not five. half. It has right. to be five. I have a, my psychology, yeah, that's right. My psychology yeah, is 10. Yeah, we have to be five, five, five or So five you've got lower. a regular success. Regular success. Yes. Did anybody get a hard success? Regular no. success. All right. So with a regular success, you will see, anybody who got a regular success, you notice that Lawrence, um, like, has a visible reaction to when you start talking about the monster. Oh. Um, and uh, whereas Lord Vane is just, like, perplexed and, like, oh, that old saw. <laughs> Oh no, but it's it's, it's arc of archaeology. Hopefully, that's experience. not the only reason you came to our lovely town. Because I'm here to tell you, you're going to be very disappointed. Tommy took care of whatever that thing was. It was a wolf. Well, that's what we've been told as well. But uh, we, I personally, I was much more fascinated with the artifact that mm. was recovered. Exactly, archaeological significance of it. I actually brought my notes with me because the artifact came from here. So I pull out. I hope they don't read my notes, but I have the drawings. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna like pull out the you're picture. Show them and, the yeah. picture. That picture. Yeah. Um, Lord Vink doesn't even look. He's just like books. I've really got no time for them. Um, and else like look, uh, like Lawrence will look at you and go. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Pull them back. 
Hmm. But the way? Hmm. It was it was an interesting enough story that we were that we were curious. It wasn't too far out of our way. And what's all this I hear about some woman asleep upstairs? One of your one of your compatriots is too drunk to come to dinner. Oh no, no. she's 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 ill. Oh my, I'm yeah. terribly sorry. Yeah. Please, I for, forgive me. Uh, I hope that uh, that useless doctor is seeing her. He's 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 taking care of her. Yes. Well, yeah. No, I, I I sat with him for a little while to make sure you know interaction and you know he was Did still. Did you make taking the credit up. rating roll? Yes. Okay. Um, tell me, what's your estimation of that doctor? He seems. Like he he did a an examination. I would can't tell you how thorough, but he seems okay. And with that ringing endorsement, <laughs> but, you know, I would have to see more of what he he's he he is doing. But I saw him, you know, check all the vitals and and do what you do when you. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm just not sure he's. What, 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 what's the problem? I mean, we sh should we not have him look at our front? Well, no, he's just, he's not been able to help poor Eloise here. Oh. L look over oh. at Eloise. Yeah, we all look at Eloise. <laughs> well, it feels very comfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, oh. What's, what's the matter, poor, m poor Miss Eloise? Uh, Miss Vane. Miss Vane, sorry. I, uh, I have a pleurisy. What do I roll yeah, what to know what that, that is? <laughs> yeah. uh, medicine. Yeah. Oh, sure, we'll give it a shot. Okay, I just have to roll one. <laughs> yeah, so, ah, so close! You rolled a two! Oh, wow. You could spend luck. You can <gasps> do it, do but it. But you won't get a check. But that's the thing. I, if I got a check, I would do it. Yeah. <laughs> but with fair. no check, I don't. That's it's fair. Not, yeah. That's fine. So you, could, you could inspire. <gasps> no. 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 We would no. go from an almost a critical one. success yeah. Yeah. to I, a 99. Can I spend that this to add a D6 me. to subtract from my roll? That's not how it uh, works in this one. I know. This one doesn't work. Uh, 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 all right. Nice try. Wow. Uh, that was good. So, uh, uh, yeah, he, he, she just said that's, that's like all she says. And she is, you know, she's not really talking much at all. Uh, what follows is a five course meal. Oh, uh, of like, yeah, yeah, it's like, <laughs> hmm. yeah. There is a a lovely uh, a lovely dinner, uh, and uh, <laughs> it's been a minute since I've been at a dinner like this. Yeah. Yes, there are. Um, don't get invited to too many of these. Hmm. I used know, to. I start I with a I soup course, and then there's a salad, and then there's a fish course. There's more. And then a salad course. Oh, uh, Joseph, small amounts. I, you won't get through everything I've otherwise. I've got a big appetite. I'll be fine. <laughs> you go right uh, ahead and think that. <laughs> and then a pie course. <laughs> pie, of course, in England being Shepherd, savory. Yeah, chef course. Uh, and then finally a beef course. Um, and uh, and wine all throughout. Oh my god, the grad students actually oh. get in enough food for one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm a, they save it all up. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and then... Uh, uh, you got such a good role on the credit rating. Uh, Lord Vane will invite you all for cigars and brandy. Oh. Uh, all of us, or just, or just the gentlemen? No, all of us. All right. Has Miss Vane been eating? She eats a little of everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, make a. I'm really just trying to figure out what the affliction is. Yeah. Make a spot hidden roll. Ooh. Ooh. That's a 60. Okay, that's a 60. <laughs> Uh, and Thomas yes. wants to know if there was cheesecake, or oh, Rachel wants to know if there was. <laughs> yeah, of course, I, there I was, was cheesecake. Oh, anyway, all right, um, there is. Um, you just file away for future reference that she eats a little bit of everything, but um, it looks like she is most interested in the meat course. She's not a werewolf. No. Oh. Because werewolves wouldn't eat pie. <laughs> Says who? <laughs> Says the werewolf almanac. <laughs> Please write that write down. That werewolves wouldn't eat pie. <laughs> <laughs> we should, um, uh, Thomas is really the expert on Yeah, on he, he would the one. He'd be the one to know. Werewolves hmm. wouldn't eat pie. 
What was the guy's name? Jim? Was that who was the guy who was the werewolf? <laughs> Once again, arcane. I missed, I missed the werewolf, unfortunately. <laughs> you didn't. It was not fun. Regeneration is sucks. Oh um, no. Uh, okay, so yeah, you you he'll he'll invite you all to the salon, and you know he'll um, he'll he'll make a show of like uh, you know uh, Lawrence will come with you. Eloise excuses herself and heads upstairs. Um, Good night, Miss Vane. Of course. Thank you. Um, and her brother goes up with her, mm -hmm. actually. And uh, Lord Vane brings you all in the parlor, and uh, he says, "Well, it's you know, it's a I'm a man of I'm a modern man. Ladies, join us, won't you?" Deeply appreciated, my lord. Thank you. And he'll uh, he'll pour out the brandy, and brandy. if you want a cigar, there mm -hmm. is a cigar. Mm -hmm. No, how do I do this? No. What? You're gonna make a con roll, is what I, you're gonna do. The cigar. Oh, just in the mouth. Just don't, don't inhale it. Just in the mouth. Which part? Make Watch. me a con roll. No, I, I, I'll, I'll show. But oh, I'll, yeah. show him how to smoke it. <laughs> you show him how to smoke it. You don't show him how to not inhale it. <laughs> oh, I specifically say don't inhale it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know what happens but, when you but, tell someone not to inhale but, something? If I told him to inhale, then what do I do? No, just in your mouth. Just, you taste it. It's to just lick it. <laughs> You make I, a con roll. I know. I, I show as an example. Okay. I walk through. Boy, these, right. if we right. can only gift these. I you know. know right? I'll, see, I'll see. I'll do a con roll for this. Fifty is a success. All right. All right. So you Lucky manage you. to, without with, without much coughing, smoke your first cigar. Wow. Without much sickness. It's terrible. <laughs> what? A smile. These though. are terrible we'll cigars. Smile. No, no. These are great cigars. But for oh, him, it's terrible. That's. Mm -hmm. a, I'm just gonna sit on the other side of the. Yeah, I, don't, I don't do smoking. Uh, I'm gonna keep keep working on this. All right. Though. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we, uh, we have to I do. I will certainly yeah, sit, right. sip on the brandy, but yes, brandy. Politely decline the cigar. Right. Yes. Uh, um, he'll offer cigarettes if you'd prefer. That's. Uh, uh, I don't know. This and is, what? So. <laughs> I um, sound like I'm a ten pack a day. Well, you know, so that ridiculous beast nonsense. It was a, a wolf of some sort that mm. Tommy, uh, Tommy shot it out there, and I'm, he's taking care of it. Uh, it, it. I certainly hope that there's not a lot of rot going on in London about the beasts of Lesser Edale. Mm. There is oh, been some talk. Oh, really, but... really only in the yellow papers, and who trusts those? Uh, mm. What, what drew our attention was actually the the symbol that we were told about the. Oh yes. I'm not. I. I uh, <laughs> I'm not much of a bookman myself. Mm. Uh, don't really know what uh, you said. It was. Uh, well, it was hieroglyphics or some rot. Well, maybe Celtic in origin. Yeah. But a star-shaped symbol on a circular um, piece of stone, uh, perhaps about yay big. I actually have it. I'm not showing the real one to him. It's been my belongings. <laughs> uh, he's like, he's visibly losing interest as you were like. No, 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 do, do you recall where it was recovered? What's that? It was recovered no, from you know, this castle. Oh, oh yeah, the, we're, we're oh, obviously the area, boring the gentleman with this but, kind of stuff, guys. Oh, but if we knew where it was Let's talk located. about some more of our but travels that's, that's and where we've really been. That's what really brought us here, not the beast. The beast was... Yeah. Yeah, let's tell us more about what we've, it, where we've been and, you know. Oh! Oh. Been traveling, have you? Have we? Have you? What sort of exciting things have you shot? <laughs> oh, I freeze. <laughs> the most dangerous game of all. <laughs> Shark no, parrots. Well, you know, <laughs> from, uh, Shark know. parrots? <laughs> well, I'm not familiar. Is that in Africa? Yes. I've, it's I so want to. just a kind of parrot. Make a big, uh, you know. It's, it, it's a the little, most little dangerous thing you've shot is a parrot. Very sharp. Beak. I don't go hunting he's, much. He's. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, while they're keeping him busy, I'm going to lean over to Yosef and, and say, "We'll ask Lawrence about yes, it yes, later." Yes, Lawrence yes. Oh, is oh. more in tune with and this. His father I'll be talking to her. Yeah, yeah. Lord Vane. Like, Lord Vane is there. ridiculously easy to distract. No, I'm going to talk him about tell him about the digs I've been on and you know the bones mm -hmm. that I've found and. There is know. no, there's no guile to this man. There is no like, there's no. There's no depth to this man. He's utterly surface. Sweet. He's, he's a puddle. Well, then I can tell him about Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been to Jersey. Uh, America. New Jersey? In no, America? old Jersey. Mm. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. No, I've never been to America. Don't care for it. Colonists. Well, have you ever been there? How do you know? Huh? I... I know all I need to know about America I learned in 1782. Fair enough, but still, it's a nice place. It really is. Well, we we certainly thank you for all you did for us in the Great War. Mm. Your your doughboys were were solid fighters and really made the difference and we greatly appreciate the sacrifice of all European young men fighting in the name of right, in what surely was the war to end all wars. One can only hope. I'm pretty sure we've all learned our lesson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so yeah, he'll uh, about after about ten minutes of utterly superficial conversation about things he's shot and like telling you mm. about the bear that is stuffed in his, you know, that is the rug actually in his. Um, uh, Lawrence will come will come down, mm. and he'll see him and say, Ah, Larry, old boy, good to see you. Come, join us, join us. Of course, father. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, this, this is my heir. The heir to all of Edale. And actually, Father, that's not how it works anymore. <laughs> I'm the heir to your titles, but that's all. <laughs> the world moves. By this time, it's nine o'clock, okay. probably. Um, the three of you that went to the cave mm -hmm. make mm. me make me pow roll. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Just ask for a luck roll next. <laughs> yeah, really? No. Uh, yes. I, didn't want to make this I got a critical success. Oh, good. That is no. a, an eleven. All right, you get a super brief whiff of that smell again, that charnel smell. Hmm. And uh, because, so you got a critical? Yeah. Make me a spot hidden with advantage. D uh, just shy of a critical success. You got a hard success on yeah. that? Yeah. All right. Um, nice. There, there is a noticeable silhouette at the window. Like outside. Okay. Like turn my head a little bit to see it out of the corner of my eye without so like drawing attention. So the window is leaded glass. Uh huh. You can't really see anything through it. <sighs> what, what kind of a shape is it? Like a big shape? Is it a small humanoid shape? You got a hard success. Yeah. It's at least person sized. It's a big person. Hmm. Do you let anybody else know or mm -hmm. go for a Do walk? Do yourself. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shoot. Um, hmm. I th think I'm going to stand up and and look at Joan and say, "Well, this is, this has been a very a very lovely evening, but we I, I I would like to retire. It's been rather a long day." Oh, of course, of course. Uh, do you need Tidwell to show you up? Uh, no, I remember where my room is. Joan, would you join me? Room. Yes, yes. All it's right. time. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm it's a very strange way to leave a room. Mm. It's time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> women yeah. never understood them. Still brand new. Still don't understand them. <laughs> so as soon as soon as we are outside of of the of the smoking room, and you know we're, I, we're far far enough away that I don't think anyone can easily overhear us, I'm gonna like lean over to Joan and say, "There was something outside the window, and I smelled that smell again, that no. horrible smell." Shoot. Should we go for a walk? I don't want to go outside. Who's got the calendar? Mm. Uh, oh, good call. Question. Uh, Amy has. Amy it. has. It. <laughs> there you go. It Sorry. might be in. I think we're. Uh, it's okay, so 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 yeah, so we're so it's, it, it, it's, it's after the new moon, right. but it's not anywhere yeah. near the full moon. Right. It was like a week and a half from yeah. the full moon. Um, if the, if this thing only attacks on the full moon, then you know maybe it's a little bit safer. But I'm hesitant to go. Can, maybe if we go upstairs, we can look down. Mm. No? Let's step outside for a breath of fresh air. Yes. And see what we can see. Clear our heads, getting, yes. Without getting too far from the door. Perfect. 
So you're going out the front door? Yes, out, out the front door and just stepping right. out to like, so like stand on As you get to the front door, steps. Mm -hmm. Tidwell, seemingly out of nowhere, materializes behind you. Uh, can I help you, madams? We were just stepping outside for a quick breath of fresh air. Yeah, clear our head, you know. The guy's in the smoking in the room. The cigar smoke got to be a little onerous for us. Yes. And the patios in your rooms are not sufficient? We thought we, we would have a moment out here before going up to him to bed. Of course, mum. Hmm. And he disappears. Mm hmm Like, watch that and then... Hmm. Okay. I have something to tell you later, but I don't know. Let's go outside and tell The butler did it. <laughs> it's always the, the butler. butler. It's like, so we're 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 gonna we're gonna step outside, but I'm gonna like have my hand on the doorknob so it doesn't close completely behind us. All right. Which we should check to see if it's locked or anything. So we're being paranoid. Yes. So you're gonna <laughs> need to leave the doorstep to be able to see where that window was. That window is in the courtyard of the castle, but mm -hmm. it's around the corner, basically. And you two are just like, why are they leaving? What is this? <laughs> yeah, we don't. There's perfectly good, good cigars and brandy here. Or, or a very short walk. And I'm going to like, because I, I would have made sure that I had at least a knife on me. Okay. I, security knife. <laughs> 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 Almost anybody else I'd make take a luck roll. But yep. you, nope. I, yep. you, you, security always, knife. Yep. I just always do. Yep. So okay. we'll 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 take a little walk around the edge of it, heading towards that window. Yeah, but not like at the window. Right. How much you tell me? Well, you're gonna. So again, you're gonna have to go ar around the building. The window mm -hmm. is like on one edge of the. Right, but we don't want to be like crashing through hedges or anything like that. Oh, no, there's a there's a path all the way around. Okay. Oh, sweet, sweet. Yeah. So a... we'll stay on that path. Okay. <laughs> stay on the. Yeah. Stay on the path. Uh, so you you walk around and. Uh, make a. Are you. Quiet? What are you? Are you? I mean, I'm on alert because there was something outside the window that felt like to get it her was to... watching us. So what, what, shh. <laughs> when she says shush. <laughs> okay. Uh, make a stealth roll. I'll let just Tian, I'll let just okay. Alexander make it okay. since she's probably got a little bit more. Little bit more. Not a lot more. Holy oh, shit. shit! I got a three. There you go. <laughs> I think I made it. All right. For both of us. Yeah. <laughs> I have like this aura of quiet. Right. You are the knight. Silence 10 foot radius has been cast. Yeah, basically. Um, you will, uh, you come around the corner. Uh, are you, what are you, like, are you just going to come around the corner? Are you peeking? So if if I if I know or at least have an idea that this is the the window that I would have seen the person or thing outside of, I would like pause and peek. Okay. And without like stepping in all, all the way. Make a spot hidden roll. Yes. Hard. Normal. Okay. Um. So it's dark. Mm -hmm. Um. Not a lot of shadows with not much moon. Uh, and, uh, you know, it feels like from the room there are sort of dancing shadows all around, so there's a lot of movement, but it feels like maybe something moved, like, around away from you. Mm hmm Like something hurt us and ran? Possibly. Or? Okay. Hmm. So what is going on? I'll tell you in a moment. We are stalking or being stalked. <laughs> and you hear laughter erupt from the room. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that would be the moment for it. Yeah, too. that would be totally the moment. And then you burnt the car. Oh! <laughs> that's that's just what you do in that situation. And then I'm gonna like lean. You guys are crazy. <laughs> yes, we are. Literally. <laughs> I'm going to lean over to Joan and say very quietly, but I'm not going to whisper for the sake of the podcast listeners. Um, I don't know if we want to pursue this thing because an animal that's cornered can get dangerous, and that felt off. It's still here. Whatever it's it is. 
Whatever it is, there's something not. And you're crowbarless. Yes. <laughs> you needed your dinner crowbar. <laughs> oh, lobster. <laughs> um, how far is like the corner of the building from where we are? Where where, where did that? So you come thing around. You're at this to? edge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's about. Let's see. Twenty feet. About fifty feet of building. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! So it and then it's the back of the house. All right. I want to continue on a little bit further to look around the corner of the house, and then I think we turn back. Yeah, they'll, they'll be looking for us at that point. Okay. At some point, yes. All right. All right. All right. You you creep up to where the window is. Mm-hmm. Not at the window. I don't want them right, to see right, me. Right. Um, and both of you make me a con roll. Oh, no. No. Oh. Well, we can't inspire those. those, those, nice, those are nice, nice splitting off from the party. This is... <laughs> I rolled a hundred. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you did. You know, it was did. going so Dang well. It. Dang we'll be fine. Dang you used up all your twos. So Clearly. What's going to happen next? Uh, so, this is why I don't make con rolls. You don't make luck rolls. <laughs> no, I do make luck rolls. Just they don't succeed. So, the camera sees you two, like, sneaking up. Did you make the roll? No. Okay. It's um, just barely not as bad as that. So Thanks. <laughs> you, like the camera sort of stays with you as you move forward. Yeah. And in the background, you see Alexandra stop, s- like sn- smell, and then just immediately get ill. Just <laughs> um, you had a concentrated blast. Of, of that, that death smell. Mm-hmm. It, it wow, smelled like, nearby. you know, somebody left, somebody killed someone who had eaten a tuna fish sandwich, cut out their stomach, and left it sitting here for two weeks. On the radiator. Uh, yeah, it's oh. like, you just oh. immediately smell oh. that. And you can't control, you know, five courses come oh. out. One, you know, it's a race to see which course makes it out first. Um, and you are not like... Oh. You know, there's no stealth, there's no nothing. No. Both of you can make listen rolls. No. Ah, Lord Vane utterly. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. So you distinctly you hear a sound you've heard before. <laughs> Sadly, oh, recently, that was you, a today. Were we gagging when we came out of the cave, or? Well, you've heard it other times. Yeah, sadly. yeah, yeah, yeah. You've, yeah. You've, you actually can differentiate between a couple of your party members vomiting <laughs> sounds. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Fingerprints. Everyone is different. <laughs> well, I mean, you can hear a little bit of the voice in the yeah. sound. Yes, gargle. Yes, you got your gargle. Yeah. Um, uh, but you distinctly I... hear Alexandra Lose. losing five courses of dinner. Oh, does that window open? Hmm? Oh God, am I right next to the window? You're like, yeah, yeah. that was yeah. where the. Smell I was, was trying not to get no, next no, to the so window. You're not, no, you're like, <laughs> no, you know, you're yeah, out. Yeah. You're about five feet out from the window. You're, I was trying you know, to get further out. You're just that. out of the light. Well, yeah, there's only that. so much space yeah. there, but um, <laughs> and as soon as the sm- smell hit, you were just like, Burr. yeah. Um, but uh, you're you don't think the window opens? Okay. Uh, and no one else is reacting. I. I. Gonna step out for just. I, I have to use the restroom. Oh. Ah! Um, Lawrence will will give you like overwrought directions <laughs> of, you know, which of. He'll be like, no, not that restroom. You'll want to use the other one. It's, the, it's far better. Okay. Uh, and you you head out and you see that I'll, the front I'll, door is slightly ajar. Yeah. Mm. I'll, I'll trot a bit. All too. right, so as soon as you get to the front door, Tidwell materializes out of nowhere. Oh my god. Hi. And I start <laughs> walking through the door. Joining your compatriots on the walk, sir? Uh, yes. Very good, sir. Do you require a torch, sir? Oh, yes. One moment, sir. Tidwell, uh, Tidwell disappears. <laughs> How many? Like, oh, oh, like ten. A ten? Okay, yeah, he is not back yet. Okay, I'll... I'll All right. I'll then. <clears throat> All right. And you start to head around. Are you moving quietly? Are you okay? So I mean, I'm not doing no, that. No, that, 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 that noise yes. would be alarming. So my, yes. my sound is just not enough to draw their attention. All right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, you clearly hear her like just start retching. Yeah, yeah I'm mm-hmm. trying not to. Uh, no, you didn't notice the smell. No, no, but I'm trying not to oh, because it's yeah. <laughs> sympathetic. React. Monitor. Yes. Yes. React. Yeah. Yes. Um, so you come around that corner what? about the same time. 
Joan is sort of, you two meet yeah, at yeah, Alexandra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's like on her knees through yeah, <laughs> Just yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Oh, she what just, are you doing? She started hurling. What are you doing? Why are you, what? I, I know what you're doing. Curling <laughs> up in the middle of a pathway, vomiting, Silvana. What do you think I'm doing? Oh. oh what are you doing? <laughs> you really don't like the smoke, she, okay. <laughs> she, she, it she was that smell. She smelled that smell. That smell. I that. make the stupid mistake of then smelling. <laughs> make me a con roll. Yes. We have inspiration. <laughs> Doesn't work if you yeah, fumble. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. You get the tiniest uh. whiff. Oh yeah, that's unpleasant. That's from the game. It's it yeah. is like being hit with a bullet of that smell. Ask me why I know what a bullet feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, or don't. Yes, it's fine. No, I'm just no, like, get, get no, up, no, brushing my no. knees off. Just very pissed off. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look around really quick. You don't see anything. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it, is, it, is it gone? Yes, I think so. Well, it was here. <sighs> it was. There was something outside the window. Oh, let's that's go, all of it. Let's, yeah, let's go a, back. Let's get let's away from the window. Let's go back. Let's go back. Yes. Yeah. So you go back? Yeah. Uh, Tidwell is standing on the front porch with a flashlight, with like, you know, one of those like car battery flashlight things, and he just shines the light on you as you're coming forward. Could you not, please? Thank Everything you. Everything all right? It is mm. now. It is now. Mm. Got a little lost, but our friend can find us, so we're good. Turns a spritzer, madam? Yes, please. In your room, madam? Would be deeply appreciated. Mr. Tidwell, thank you. As you wish. And he, like, as he disappears, click, and then just recedes. And he always recedes backwards into the shadow. <laughs> All he needs is a hedge to disappear in. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. Then I'll actually use the bathroom, just because it'll be weird if I have to end up using the bathroom again later. And then yeah. I didn't Now I can go. pass the polygraph. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I am going to say to Silvano before we split off, um, when 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 you when you come up for bed, knock on my door. I have a few things I need to tell everyone. Okay. But so you're going to go back be in. Be subtle. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, I'm going to go up to my room. So you come in, in and Yusef is finishing some incredibly long and drawn out story that Lord Vane like stopped listening to like five <laughs> minutes ago, and he's just like admiring his cigar. Mm. But Lawrence seems to be listening and seems to be engaging and that sort of thing. Um. Yeah, so you go up to your room, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to my room. Okay, I'm going to my room. Right. Um, about five minutes later, there's a tap at your door. Mm -hmm. I haven't changed out of my, I haven't changed into a nightgown yet, so I'm going to go to the door. All right, when you open the door, there's just a silver platter on the ground with a spritzer on it. <sighs> yeah, that'll help. <laughs> and pick it up, gently push the tray to the side of the door so I don't step on it if I mm -hmm. come out in the middle of the night. Um, and uh, yeah, so. Um, about an hour after you go back, uh, Lord Vane signals the end of the festivities mm. by oh. saying, well, you know, this has been bracing. So good to talk to you chaps, but I think it's time we all called it a night. Sounds early to bed, early to rise. Thank you very much for your hospitality and these wonderful cigars. And, Indeed. And brandy? Yes. Brandy. Been a spectacular host. <laughs> well. You're very kind. You're very kind, and you're you're welcome to stay. And as long as your friend needs to uh, have medical care, and uh, perhaps you should consider taking her to London if this if this situation continues. It continues yeah. Uh, well, let me know. I can uh, I can talk to someone about uh, expediting some train uh, transportation. Uh, well, uh, good night, gentlemen. Good night, good night to you. Uh, Lawrence, will you show them off? Of course. Yeah. Uh, you you note know that either his bedroom is on the first floor or he's going to like a study or something, mm. or so an office. I came over to your room, and I'm I'm in my nightgown yeah, at this yeah, point, yeah. sitting yeah. on sitting on the bed drinking my spritzer. Yeah, come in. Does, yep. Does Lawrence lead us back yeah, to our know, rooms? He will in a minute. Uh, no, oh. They will. Yeah. The the gentlemen always stay late. Mm. Um. So in the in the uh, the lounge where you guys were, uh, as soon as like Lawrence is like at the door watching his father disappear. Oh. Reaching for the papers. Oh. <laughs> um, tell me, where did you find that stone? Well, uh, I didn't personally find it. I was informed that it was located at this castle, but I was not informed where. And it is such a unique and unusual uh, piece of, of, of history. 
or you're curious about the origin, perhaps, or mm. if there are others like it, would be an interesting find. I paid someone a great deal of money for that piece. Oh, why did you do that? Tell me, do you believe in curses? I do. Yes. The Vane family is cursed. Oh. And that symbol, that protective symbol, was my attempt to save my sister from this curse. Hmm. And it didn't work. No. And if the curse is otherworldly, it also requires. Well, anyhow, um, how, how did you, what, okay, what curse, how did you try to use it? You see, the curse of the Vane family is, goes back hundreds of years. The story is that a Lord Vane in the thir 1300s? It's many Vanes ago. <laughs> in 1608, uh, Lady Evangeline Vane gave testimony at the trial of two women accused <coughs> of witches, accused of being witches, and she, uh, the evidence that she gave led to their sentencing and their, their death. And one of the witches put the mark of the beast on all the daughters of the Vane family. Hmm. And since that time, there have been <coughs> very few daughters of the Vane family, but all of them have succumbed to this curse. And most of them live reclusive lives. Oh, do, do they s smell like rotting meat and they become reclusive? Do they live in the cave on, I, what was the name of the? Uh, uh, Ma Ma Mom Tor. Mom Tor. Mom Mom Tor. Tor. No, no. Okay. I mean, yes, but no. So yes to the smelling like rotted meat part. Mm. My, my beloved sister, when she goes through her transformation, does indeed smell like rotted meat. But she doesn't live in Mam Tor. In fact, as long she usually stays here, but she tries to get out. And that's where the unfortunate business with Tummy happened. Hmm. Hmm. Is this a curse that happens on a nightly basis or just once every full moon? No, every night she becomes something awful. Oh. At midnight. Hmm. Oh, what what time sure. is it? What time is it now? It's about eleven. Oh, okay. And I commissioned someone to create that piece. Um, I have one... <laughs> I, I don't wish to alarm you, gentlemen, but I hired someone who styled themselves a wizard to create a protective seal on my sister's door. After you <laughs> And I actually... <laughs> what, what, was their, what was their name? Uh, a Mr. Crowley. Ah. Nice. <laughs> uh. And I commissioned this other piece from Mr. Crowley at no small expense. Uh, oh, no, the, it's, to a price to be paid. To, con to limit her access to her patio. Um, when she transforms, she is quite, uh, quite strong and wishes nothing so much as to leave the house. Hmm. Hmm. So why are you telling us this? Well, I'm, I'm guessing you're looking for that stone. Yes, it missing. seemed to be somewhat effective. I don't know why uh, the one that was on her patio disappeared. Um, but I'm hoping you, you seem like worldly gentlemen who have experienced some things and you know for instance, of that symbol, and I'm hoping that perhaps you can help my sister. Hmm. It's worth a shot. Mm. I wish to be clear with language like that, that helping my sister does not involve shooting her mm. in any way. Mm. Well, we don't have any guns, so I think... Oh, we have... <laughs> we, 
Wait, I don't have any. You don't have any guns. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. What Donald's would, not here. Why? I forget this sometimes. Why would you think that? Well, I, I was with Emma. She had no weapons whatsoever. And, of course, I don't have any guns. Mm. Oh, in any case, um... Any case. She, was, she was cursed by a witch in the year 1608. Uh, my sister is living under a curse that occurred in 16. Of course, the family was cursed. Yes. Someone else might have removed the stone. But I'm curious if we know more about these witches and the origin of the curse. Hmm. Is there some sort of a repository of, of history? Um, perhaps uh, Celtic lore or other, other witchcraft? We, we, the vicar might know more. Hmm. Yeah, if we, could, if we could delve into the curse, determine what it was that made it, and see if perhaps there's a way to uh, reverse the curse. Look into yeah. it. I don't know if anything better than the, the Elder Sign, but I'm not doing that anytime soon. Is that what that's called? Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Crowley called it Crowley's Protective Circle. Yeah. Oh. That's very self-aggrandizing. I agree. <laughs> he, he certainly didn't come up with the circle itself. It's been, it's a- Oh, it's ancient. Through, yeah. Through centuries and millennia. Mm. Well, I, I th have a feeling that perhaps you can help me. But again, I wish to reiterate because- Do um, not shoot your sister. Yes, mm. we, we love Eloise very much and if you do not have a solution, we will learn to live with her situation. Oh. I guess she could be contained. But let, let us, we'll delve into this, this curse. Wish. I mm -hmm. think we might be able to find something. So she can get out through her patio right now is what you're saying? Well, it is blocked. Okay. But she's quite determined. Okay, well, we'll want to look into that tomorrow. It's not midnight yet. You can go put it on now. <laughs> <laughs> on your head, be it. Yes. Uh, well, yes. Let's let's plan on discussing tomorrow. Mm. That um, sounds good. He starts to lead you guys upstairs, and he goes to the left, mm. and um, he will point out to you. Uh, from there, he'll go like, "This is my sister's room. Observe." And he like draws his hand across the door, and all of a sudden, in bright gold, you see an elder sign oh. on the door. Wow, I don't think I could do one that big. <laughs> um, and then he goes into the door next door. Impressive. And mm -hmm. you hear his door lock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> we should do that too. Yeah. Did you tell us to meet? At yes. Okay, then I would remember that. <laughs> you know what? Do they want to? Meet I with think us? I need to make a brandy roll. Uh, I'll, uh, you can make a uh, uh, an intelligence roll. I can probably. <laughs> did you, that did fumble? you fumble that? No, I oh, didn't right. fumble. That was the fumble face. Okay. That was the fumble face. <laughs> all right, um, you're no inspiration. Uh, so you start to to go away, and Yusef's like, didn't they say to meet? Mm -hmm. it, Maybe? <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I hear them out in the halls yes, and yeah, listening yeah, for you, them? Yeah, you, yeah, you, you hear them. We're there, we're there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to come and like open the door and be like, hey, idiots. <laughs> I think she's talking to you. <laughs> Guys, come I'm on. Plural. I'm plural. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Guys, come on in. Oh, you're, you're in your pajamas. Yes, and? It, yeah, you're very so, uncomfortable. It's okay for us? We will have, like, have, uh, have uh, more of us as here. You might see her knees. <laughs> Alexander like rolls her eyes almost knees. to the back of her <laughs> yeah. head and goes and grabs a dressing gown and throws it over her nightgown. Better? That's, that's better. Oh, well, you have chaperones, don't worry. <laughs> <sighs> right. Oh, well, we've learned some very interesting things this evening. Yeah, so have I. You go first. So, of course, the, the daughter, Eloise, is cursed. All the females of the, the family have been cursed for at least 400 years. It happened in uh, 1608, I believe, is the origin of the mm, curse. Mm, and we mm, were told, of course, mm, this by witches. The, witches. Mm. Okay. And Mark of the Beast, actually, we have actual werewolves. I think well, this might be a werewolf situation. Yeah. Oh, but she changes every evening. Every Not just the full moon, every oh, single yeah. night. Yeah. And she had, um, unfortunately, when the the, um, the item that I have in my possession was removed from this castle, uh, she had access to leave the castle at that point and, and kill many of the local villagers. I think the one that we found is another descendant. I think you're right, because... And I think she might have removed the sign to help. Well, maybe. I, I wouldn't rule that out, but... Wait, well, you found another one? 
Found another what? <laughs> another female oh, of the Vane family. I mean, well, someone of the somebody reeks with the of stench, rotting flesh yes. that he described. When we were in the caves, we told yeah. you about that. No, we didn't. Oh, we haven't had a chance yet. Yeah, oh. lots going on. Yeah. Nice. Wow. <laughs> yes, we 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 went up to the caves of Mont of Montor, and we. Joan, you said you felt a pull, pull. on those yes. things. Yes. Yes. So I, I used the uh, um, the crooks and the and the on the unk to be able to track. Huh, I wonder if Why you would could they drain track the curse dry with that? Why would what those track? Like river curse. It doesn't quite follow. Why? Maybe, maybe the, it's those the energy. Maybe, 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 maybe it's similar energy where it's you know the dark like, arrow. Like calls like. That doesn't speak well for those staffs. <laughs> Who, uh, the last person that we saw using them prior to us was uh, what is his name? I've lost Evil. Gavigan. Gavigan. Gavigan, yes. Evil. So. You took those from Gavigan. Who? <laughs> what? That's where you, you stole those from Gavigan? Well, we. We acquired them. We acquired them. You st it needed to be. You stole those from Gavigan. I'll slowly back out. <laughs> <laughs> but we needed to take those from him. Okay, that's still stealing. No, is that I maybe why he wanted to, to, to kill I, you? I, I acquired it's disarming him before he could use them to kill us. Oh, that's it's, a different story. It's like, it's like yes. taking a, a knife out of someone's I hand when they're trying to stab you. <laughs> stab you. <laughs> yes, no, Tidwell yes. has taught you well. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. so so yes. he he really wasn't that good of a person. He was. Mm, no, and I don't so know what he had done with those those items, but those weren't his to begin with. Where did he acquire those? Is the question probably somewhere in Egypt. Yeah, mm. it's a good question. We haven't been able to do that uh, research yet, but I'm. Oh no, we uh, when we were when we broke into his office. <laughs> <laughs> when we were in his office, there we're having to uh, guard our words around this new guy. <laughs> I kind of pick my sides at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've lost him. But, uh, oh, Doctor H. Clive at Giza. Hmm. A year yeah. or two before so, might have been one of the sites where he found something. Yeah, well, Doctor Clive is one of the that's one of the expeditions that the uh, Penyu Foundation is currently funding. That's right. Yes. So we, sometime we might actually want to look but into he, that. Which location is Giza? I just Giza. Where, Giza's whichever one big. Is, yeah, well, that, I didn't get more information than that. It's it's smaller than the entire country. I wonder mm -hmm. if I could go back to the foundation and find the records hmm. that would indicate where they were found. Hmm. Maybe there's some a trail of some sort. Well, mm -hmm. let's focus. Let's focus okay. right yes, now. We have, we have this so, issue to deal with in front yes, of us right now. There's more than one female of the vein, maybe think, we believe that are still alive. Well, and it's interesting to me because they said that the attacks of this beast were every full moon, but you're telling me that Eloise changes every, every night. night. Every night. So but there's only been three attacks. So if there's another one, that one also changes every night, and we should lock. Our doors and windows. Mm. Mm. Well, I was going to push something in front of the window. Well, I mean, obviously. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't have much to add to that. I heard Eloise. I have one really bad idea. We don't need wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right. Emma's in a coma. We need someone to have bad ideas. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't believe no one said just one. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it was loud. So apparently, I did too. that headdress. Has knowledge no. and taught Emma spells. It mm. might be able to undo oh, a curse if someone yes. was to put it on. Yes, it, it yes. does speak from beyond. Yes. It's a higher mm. power communicating with with a with a. a and if I vessel. had that and the staves, mm. no, I could. No. But, but we we agreed that we were not going to have the staves and the headdress with the same person. So if you want the headdress, I'm going to have to take the staves. I'll take the staves. Someone take the staves. I could read them. I'm sorry, Amy. <laughs> but regardless, the, the, the they're, staves they're, are mine. I mean, we they're, might want to. They're, might... they're too powerful to have <coughs> with the same person. They will overwhelm someone. I just want to admire for a second the Baroness's handiwork. It's, it's it is brilliant. Beautiful. Amazing. So, if we put it on anyone, God, I hope we don't have to. It, it would have to choose the person. Can't. It would but, completely overtake me. It would. Probably overtake you. You have to be the right vessel for it to communicate with you. It can't just choose anyone. Well, it's it a check. Right oh, 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 it'll, it'll go. It'll, it, it, well, if it gets on you, know, you it'll. Shit. It seems. It... You know I'm right. Mm. I... <laughs> <laughs> I 
So I think Pixel's still oh, out there. She'll oh, come. Oh, she'll oh, come oh, grab oh, it. Yeah, <laughs> 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 That's where the headdress of eyes <laughs> And that, that was a very costly trip to the vet. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh, this, is, uh, this is so We hard. don't have to do it. We should go to bed right now, but it's something to sleep on. I agree. And in the meantime, where is the headdress? Oh, oh I, you, I've got you it. it. In his, yeah. He has it. It's wrapped mm-hmm. up in various things. You bury it at the bottom of a wardrobe, too. The, that, the, I, I, I have seen... Under a pile of guns. <laughs> Wait, wait, you have guns. Oh, yes. <laughs> we, we, oh, we can't shoot her. We, yes, we told the Lord we wouldn't shoot that her. we wouldn't shoot her. All right, all right. Depends on whether or not the one chasing us is Eloise. It might not be. It might be this other person of the vein descendant. Mm. Is, is there a, if, is there a sister? Or the or... Curse. That's... I got a good feeling about this. I think we're... <laughs> I think we're going to figure this one out. Really? What in our history has... we're due! We're due! <laughs> what in our history has given you any implication that we, things we're ever due. turn out well? <laughs> to, to, to be able to do this, we would have to find a tome that talks about this curse. Absolutely. And maybe we can be able to... to we can do some research. Anything. Yes. I wonder if this estate has a library. I'm sure that's would small. know. Mm. It, well, Care, don't say his name. <laughs> He'll appear out of the shadows. Does he show up? He does not. <laughs> okay. Knock, knock. Ah. Um, Tidwell, Tidwell, Tidwell. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. Um, but this is he state appears scene. in one of the mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> There's a knock at the door. No. <laughs> yes. Are you serious? Too loud. Do you require something, Mom? No, I'm sorry. I, was... I open. I crack open the door. Is there a library in this? Uh... In the office. In the office. Uh, do you know if that? Uh, Isn't that where the Lord went? To, yeah. To I mean, if it's something private, yes, his we lordship want to. is usually works late in the office. Hmm. hmm. If you Maybe could, can if ask you him could inquire uh, tomorrow, if we might be able to. Again, we're, we're fascinated by the, the history of this place. Of course, sir. Thank you. <laughs> three times. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, that was four. Well, all he needed was three. Apparently. Yeah. But it, it, it seems reasonable to me that some place like this would have records, at the very least, because people like this, especially traditionalist families, keep it, records going back as far as the, the name. The family trees Ooh. would be very useful. A family tree, see any, if there's any anyone. useful information probably isn't going to be easy to find. They probably are going to keep that hidden. Well, they may no. not. Given that they're aware of Lord, Lords may help us, though. Yeah, maybe. I mean, actually, we should. Well, I mean, he, if he went to Crowley, he went to Crowley. Um, he was desperate. Yeah. Well, I will tell you this. Whatever Crowley did to that door, it worked. Yeah. That hurt. <laughs> And so people can't go in either, which no. makes sense. I touch the door Laura? and hit the opposite wall. Lawrence can go in. That would indicate that you're an otherworldly creature. <laughs> or oh. it was warded to keep everything out. That's no, Lawrence not, no, can't no, go no, in. Science. Lawrence can't come in. He, he, he can't go in, can he? He enters. He does? He's the one that no. locks the door himself. But this doesn't work against earthly creatures, only mm. otherworldly creatures. I don't know what to Anybody that wants to can make a Cthulhu Mythos roll. <laughs> I want to. Not that I, not that I sure. Like to me, do I really want? I mean, no. I can, but I can't fail nope. lower than a. I have yeah. nothing. So I have a zero. So. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't make it. So I far. mean, I didn't make it under my five. So. Nope. Emma has like the highest Cthulhu. Yes. Emma has the highest Cthulhu. Oh, yes, she does. She does. You know, yep. if you put the headdress on. I will not do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> she wants to. This whole no. castle is going to be no. on fire <laughs> if I'm wearing it. <laughs> Really, the only way I'm letting you have that is if you give me the staves. <laughs> you mm-hmm. hear... To think about it. <clears throat> let me you hear staves. three uh, uh, beautiful grandfather clocks start to bong out midnight. Oh, I run. Go back to your room? Yep. Bong. Why, why are you running? It's midnight. Bong. What's midnight? <sighs> it's okay. Bong. It changes. Are you... She's locked bong. in the room. I'm in the hallway, like bong. the patio door isn't. Bong. All right, and I run to my room. Bong. I'm right. gonna go in. None of our doors are bong. warded. If she wanted to come again, she could. 
Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna go to my room. Yeah, I'm gonna go lock the door to the patio and like push and something against it. Unravel the headdress. Is the headdress still? Uh, make a pal roll. I, I don't touch it. Yeah, I you, don't physically you're looking touch it. at it. You have to look oh, at it. Oh no! It. it speaks to this you. This castle's going up in flames. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shit. All right. Um. Do you need inspiration? Do you need inspiration? Do you need inspiration? It's not gonna help. All right. What's your pal? Oh, that's right. Twenty-five. Your pal's real low. Oh gosh. I'm gonna make you an offer. Okay. Shit. You can resist the Ooh. call Ooh. of the headdress of eyes at a small cost to you, <sighs> or you can put on the headdress of eyes. You can succumb to its siren song. And I'll tell you this, every day you are around this thing, that call will get stronger. Mm. I'm sh- uh... Oh, Emma's gonna kill you. <laughs> she sees it on you. Awesome. I can't afford any more prices. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I am tapped out. <laughs> yeah. But I don't blame it's gonna lower my credit rating. <laughs> <laughs> and then like Lord Zane isn't gonna like me anymore, and we're gonna get thrown out. <laughs> Crap! I <laughs> now write those checks. <laughs> yeah. If Resist for one more. You put more it day. on. One more day. I don't think I can. I if, if it's gonna if it's gonna cost you something, put it on. Because yeah. you can There there are certain stats you cannot afford to lose anymore. No, I can't. I and and, the, and it's already gonna I'll be hard you, enough if it tells me to do The cost will be things. sanity for the first day. A small amount of sanity. How's your sand? Uh, I'm sleeping in a nice castle. I think it's gonna balance out, actually. If it's <laughs> sand, oh yeah, I'll throw away some sand. All right, you lose two sand. Oh, woo, woo. That's so much better than five pow. <laughs> um, here's here's what happens. You you go. I better check on the headdress. Mm -hmm. And you just open it, and there is a five minute just stare session. <laughs> where you don't blink, just staring at the headdress. And all of a sudden, like... You have all the answers, don't you? When, when you finally do blink, the headdress is closer than it was. Like, your hands have gotten closer to your head. Don't blink. And then you're like, whoa. And you, like, close it back up. Mm. And put it back in the case next to the very comforting rifle. <laughs> With two a new notches on, on it. Top, wait, it might know how to use a handgun. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Morning, y'all. This this is lasting one night. <laughs> I know. Okay. Um, okay. Yes, it'll be in my right, room. Yeah, so no, as, as, as soon as Yosef leaves, I'm closing the door, locking everything. Yeah. And I'm, I would have chased oh, him out with okay, a... Good night. I'm, you're, you're, you're with a young woman alone in her room. Oh, oh good, good night. Yes. <laughs> All right, make me a luck roll. Oh. Oh, no. All right. Let's see here. Success. All right. Um, you're going back to your room? Back to my room. Okay. Is anybody not locking their doors? No, I'll lock locking. the door. Okay. Yeah. Locking. Um, locking, locking. Everything seems quiet at midnight. Is anybody staying up? Yeah. No reason to stay up. Yeah, you I, yeah. I was pushed a little beyond. <laughs> yeah. and then... a, you're like lying in bed sweating. You're no, like... no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm getting sleeping, getting ready for tomorrow's brain session. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stay awake for a half hour or so past midnight just to listen and see if I hear any weirdness. You hear nothing. Okay. I'm sleeping. And then I'm out. All right. Oh, rest. Um, I get a point back. We're on the 24th now, technically. Yeah. About two in the morning, you... Which one? This one? This one? You hear, like... Have you ever heard, like, raccoons on the roof? <coughs> So Silvano hasn't. No, I'm just I'm asking you yeah, if you're, um, because so yeah. like, I was playing this is years ago. I was playing this PC horror game called Scratches, hmm. and it was um, it was a first person, but it was a story. You know, you, mm -hmm. you never like shot anything or anything like that. But the whole thing where you're in this house, and um, you'd go places and you'd hear weird scratches. Scratchies. And mm -hmm. I was playing the game, and all of a sudden. Like, there was a raccoon or something in the attic of my house, and I heard, like, 
and I was like, I'm done. No more playing. No. Nope. Okay. I, I finished that game in the daytime after that. I, I, I probably would have made a very inhuman noise. <laughs> but um, um, that is what you hear. But it's actually on your patio. Ooh. Oh God. I, I do the the full you know the full paralyzed freeze like if I don't move nothing bad can happen, and like you distinctly hear a rattle from like your locked patio door, and then silence, or more like there's one rattle yeah, and then there's about a five minute silence. It's gone. Rattle. Oh! <laughs> I actually shout. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, no, that? Like, I, because... So when you it, shout... That's the moment where it's like, oh, okay, it's fine. If I, and you let your guard down, mm -hmm. and then it happens again, you're like, ah! <laughs> so when you shout, you definitely hear something, like, skitter away off your patio. And it doesn't sound like shoes on that. It sounds like... Nails. Claws. Yeah. Oof. Uh, I, I I light I turn on lights light any anything that's light. You have guns. Candles. <laughs> not shooting guns out there. <laughs> um, yeah, you are. You will probably not sleep much tonight. Mm -mm. The rest of you mm. fall asleep. Mm -hmm. You finally, against your like against your will, fall asleep. Sitting like I'm Indian in stuff. Yeah, you're like oh you're in a chair in the corner, like with the most field of vision you can have, with all the lights in your room. But you you fall asleep, um, and each of you has a dream. Oh, Ooh. I that a dream. night, um, Yusef, oh. your dream, you're awake. You are in. You're 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 being confined in something, um, and it's very dark. And whatever's confining you opens, and you see Emma with a crowbar, and she looks right at you and she says, all of this has happened before, and all of it will happen again. And then she jams the crowbar down into you. And you are above London, and you watch as from that spot, blackness just spreads. And within about 30 seconds, the entire world is gone. And then you turn and look, and it's not Emma that's there, it's Alexandra who's there. And she takes a mask and she says, all of this has happened before, puts the mask on, and all of it will happen again. And you wake up. All right, Sir Garl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's Battlestar Galactica. That's not him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. All right, uh, Silvano, you are at dinner with the Veins. And it's a delicious dinner. You are eating your fill. But the problem is, you're never full. You keep eating, and you don't feel any, f you, you, your, your hunger is just, it's, it's unstoppable. And in the window, you see Jackson Elias, dead, like the dead form of Jackson Elias, slowly, he looks at you and he says, the only way I can live is if you die. And you look down and you are desiccating. You are wasting away. At, as you, and you just keep trying to shove. If maybe if you eat enough, you can fight this off. Until finally you die of starvation with your mouth full. Whew. Joan, you are at home with your family. It is, it's Christmas time. Everything is, it's, it's beautiful. Everything is warm and there are, you know, spice smells going throughout the house. Cookies are being made. Uh, uh, it, it, you feel warm 
and you feel like you f you feel like you are protecting your family and that you are that your the things you're doing are making your family safe and the doorbell rings and it's Emma at the door oh. and Emma looks at you takes your crowbar and jams it into your head and uh, looks at you and says, beware the Raven Queen, and then you die. But you fall backwards, dead. And as you fall backwards, from a weird, from the weird perspective of looking back like that, which I'm not going to do anymore because that just made me very dizzy, um, you see Alexandra slowly killing every member of your family, ritually carving them up, wearing a mask with feathers on it. Uh, Alexandra. You, you are, um, you are in that horrible goo pit in Peru, and you are, you know, your 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 throat has just been savaged, and it's terrible, and all this stuff, and you hear a voice that says. The Raven Queen can help you. All you have to do is help the Raven Queen. And then, in the goo, a hand reaches down. You can see a woman's hand. And you take the hand, and you are pulled up out of the goo pit. And you're now in London. And Lady Jezebel is in front of you wearing a mask, a white mask with black feathers. And she looks at you and she says, there are things that are more powerful than blood magic. And she reaches out one finger and she touches your forehead. And where she touches your forehead, black veins start to spread throughout your skin. Um, and just excruciating pain is is running through you, and and uh, Jezebel looks at you and says, "If you're going to end the world, don't expect a happy ending." And then you wake up. I think we're going to take a break at that point. <laughs> yeah. uh, We'll be back just as soon as five five people this time can use one bathroom. Uh, thanks so much for uh, sticking with us here. There's a, uh, you know, we're all gonna go cry ourselves to, uh, <laughs> to cry ourselves to pee. We'll be back.
you are, um, <laughs> you have barricaded yourself in your room. Uh, you're very glad to see daylight. Mm. Um, and uh, you all had, a, obviously, a fitful night of sleep. Um, Emma is still non-responsive. Oh, man. That is troubling. And uh, there's a lovely breakfast put out. It's uh, cold cuts and rolls and hmm. honey. Hmm. Rolls? T lots of tea. Breakfast tea. Mm. Yes, oh. lots of tea. Stewed tomatoes, baked mm. beans. The English have some of the best cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> I, that should be the title of the next episode. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Somewhere that actually uses spices. <laughs> but the... Um. <laughs> But everything well, English is better. When, when, mm -hmm. when I was younger, we didn't really have the chance to partake in those spices. Fair enough. I wasn't really in a position to enjoy said spices. Um, Eloise is not at breakfast. Mm. No. Hmm. But her bros are. But Lord Vane and Lawrence are. How does Lawrence look this morning? Haggard. Uh, like he hasn't slept either? He did not sleep well, for sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you once again for your hospitality. This breakfast is is very, very excellent. And I, I had a most uh, amazing night of sleep. The bed was very comfortable. The facilities are uh, world class. You have been a very excellent host. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, what, what are you doing today? I was hoping to do a little bit of local research into um, the castle and, and the, the family, if that would be all right with you, and learn more about your history and the Vanes have been in, um, rulers of, of this section, this area of the country, for how many centuries? Well, uh, since, essentially, since this castle was built in uh, 1175. Wow. Wow. Very deep roots here. Yes, yes, my, uh, my ancestors were given the protectorate here by Henry II. Wow. And, and have your ancestors always been residing in this castle? Yes. Wow. My goodness. It's been rebuilt a few times over the years. Of course. So do you have written records of, uh, of, of things that have happened around here or anything like that? It would be really interesting and in a uh, intellectual... Uh, uh, le ge learning. Genealogy and yeah. that such? Yes. I, I study anthropology. I'm, I'm a graduate student at Oxford, and I, anthropology is, is my primary focus. His eyes start to glaze over. <laughs> oh, but would it be all right if we looked in your library? That's the one with all the books, right? Unless yeah. there's another. Yeah, no, no, fine. Yes, of course, of course. I never go in there myself. Hmm. Well, perhaps after Lawrence breakfast? giving us any eyeballs or anything uh, like yeah, that. Yeah, Lawrence giving us any sort of. Well, he's. I mean, he's, he's sort of. He's clearly trying to figure out why you want to go in there, you know. But he's a, uh, uh, and um, uh, uh, Vane will say, uh, "Tell me, are any of you hunters?" Oh, mm -hmm. I, I haven't really, um, but I, I've always the been... loosest of terms. I, I wouldn't mind a, a, a try sometime. I've been on a few, um, a few small hunting expeditions. Well, uh, if you want, this afternoon, I was planning on going pheasant hunting. Oh. My boy is not much of a hunter himself, but uh, anyone who wishes to accompany me... I can have Tidwell set you up with shotguns. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. Sure. I, I, I think I would accept that invitation. Well, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, yes, all right. Read books this morning, and uh, after lunch, we'll go hunting. Sounds lovely. Yes. Excellent. It does. And then he'll, uh, he'll, he'll go out. Uh, uh, Slithy Tove is taking care of you guys. 500 bits to the players. Yay. Thank you. Oh man, I overshot. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, we appreciate it. Now mm -hmm. we were just talking about how they need to use some, so now they're gonna. Now we have. Now we're gonna have to, now use we're gonna have to make sure. Now they can use it when someone tries to chainy somebody while you're hunting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking enough tea. That, I'm pretty sure that won't happen. <laughs> 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 well, uh, except for not sleeping, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. No sleeping. Um. So yeah, you are in the library. Everybody that wants to yes. can make a library oh, use roll. Uh, oh, that's not my, my favorite skill. Uh, that's, or I forget. It's um, a regular success. Okay. Regular. Uh, hard success. <laughs> um, so but, the two academics 
<laughs> our, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're just like, yeah, The two academics are like looking through books and Silvano's like, before I forget, hey, look at this. The genealogy of the Vane family. Uh, wow. Now, which, which of these have escaped and are running loose in the wild? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the genealogy clearly shows that um, all of the female descendants of the Vane family, so not anybody who married into the family, mm -hmm. but all of the female descendants of actual vein blood um, never married, and um, most of them lived very short lives. Mm. Oh. Okay. That's... And that's as of 1608. Yes. And uh, no, none of them have like gone missing after their name. There is, there's no, they, they all, I mean, there, there's not a lot of cause of death yeah. involved in this. It just gives you dates. dates. Are there, are there any that are, are recent enough that I think that they would still be that, despite the fact that it says that they're dead, that like they could still be alive? No. No. Mm -hmm. No. The, the last daughter before Eloise was in the, was in the early 1800s. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So it's an wow. illegitimate child. That's, That's a good theory. Hmm. That would test the boundaries of the curse. That's right. I mean, it's way to make an edge case out of it. Still, yeah. still be a descendant. It would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so yeah, you spend the morning looking over this genealogy stuff and coming to realize that you know there are no daughters that survive mm. of the Vane family. Um, the oldest one you can find since 1608 lived to be about 35. Oh, that's impressive for that age. How 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 old is Eloise? Well, it's hard to tell. Probably early 20s. Yeah, okay. Um, at a certain point, uh, uh, Lawrence will mm -hmm. come in. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in one of the comfortable armchairs just flipping through a few things because I'm not good at libraries. Before I forget, we should put that stone back out on the balcony. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. no. Keep what? her locked in her room. What's... Yeah. Why not? It's not going to work. Something was out last night. Something something was at the... Uh, oh, my brain. At the uh, window? The, the, yes. Patio door? Is it patio door? It, patio door? Uh, did, did you get oh, a lot of... I just heard sounds. Did you get any sleep? Um, I rolled a hundred for Vane, so he's not going to come in during any of this. Yes. Uh, cool. I, I, I actually was probably going to start talking yeah. when he came in. Yeah. Did you guys but, get any sleep last night? I got no. Slept. The yeah. thing oh, was, at my window... Fine. I thought it went away, but it didn't. It came back. It was there. It was waiting. What was the thing at your window? I don't know. It claws. I heard claws. Don't just just Sounds look. Just claws. look at the window. No, I turned on all the lights after it left. You can't see it outside. If the inside lights are on, you can't see what's out beyond the window. <laughs> it, and it can see you that way. Ah! <laughs> I, I didn't think that through. <laughs> I, I, it, it just, it ha I, I couldn't think. It was, yeah. it just woke me up. Yeah, no, but I had bad dreams. I, I had, I had a terrible dream. dream. Oh, boo hoo! You had dreams? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, it's wow, Savannah. There was a thing. Yes. Oh, you sure you weren't dreaming? No, been in dream. I was wide awake for hours. Savannah, this is the sort of of dream that is more like prophecy. That is more like oh, an so opening to... into the world beyond, perhaps. The sort of thing that the, that the Black Pharaoh is using to communicate, perhaps. Lead with that. <laughs> Black, Black Pharaoh. I mean, I have bad dreams all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking this sort of bad dream where I was back in that, in that goo pit and hmm? things happened. Oh, wow. What, what goo pit? Oh. You sweet summer child. Yes, that was almost exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> but no, no, I just I'll I, tell you later. No, there's, there's, you know, before, before we got together, they okay. had other adventures and things like that. No, but, you were there. No, you were there. You guys were all you there were, in Peru. You were all there. He, in Peru. Yusuf was not. That's what I'm saying. Before yeah. you oh. got here, we had other adventures. Oh, yeah. that wasn't how that oh. came out. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, haven't had a lot of sleep. Fair. <laughs> I didn't always talk like this. I had very severe damage to my throat, and what happened in Peru was the cause of that. Okay, but um, you had a dream about something that happened to you in, in Peru. That's understandable. Yes, but, but it was the sort of dream that didn't feel like a dream. Hmm. 
and we've had enough experience with otherworldly things at this point that I feel like that's right. it. Now, you, you mentioned a black pharaoh. This is the first time I've heard that phrase used. Third dynasty, wasn't he? Uh, yeah. Lost the so name. So you know that the third dynasty is like a lost time in Egypt's uh, uh, history where, you know, the 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 victors uh, wiped out the history of an entire uh, branch of right. Egypt. There's a, there's the first, there was this early period, then there was a tr- kind of a trouble, there's a part of history that's trouble, then the then the middle di- remember, middle era, then there's another... Right. But there's, well, remember this is there what was, we were talking about. There were some about conquerors that came in and took over Egypt for a time. Remember we were talking Egyptians. about the Ankh, the inverted Ankh, and all that kind of stuff, and how, mm-hmm. and how, and what dynasty well, that the was. The third right dynasty there. is when they started making the step pyramids. But At the very beginning of the, the, of the pyramid building Where this stage. guy comes from. And this is where... Mm-hmm. Which I think was it might have been right before or after that the time of, uh, of conquest. There was a third time of trouble there, but I'm, I'm getting way off track. There wasn't really a black pharaoh, but Lord... Penn, you did have a theory about that that was, he was very interested in. Yes. About never wrote about it, though. About someone being written out of history? Yeah, he was trying to track down that missing period of history. And that's... Where some of this stuff is coming from. I think from. he nailed it down. Mm. Yeah. A- a- yeah. A- according to what we've been able to find in about that time period, there was a sorcerer who took over, essentially. Dark arts. Mm. And that's why he's called the Black Pharaoh. No spell books. <laughs> not not <laughs> because of the obsidian skin. No, we've seen him. And he looks like a, a, a statue of obsidian, mm-hmm. but oh. moving and living. I've never seen anything like that before. You will. Mm-hmm. He sticks around with us long enough. Anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Jay Matthews and the Jay Matthews Band. <laughs> I was uh, not going to make the joke. <laughs> uh, 1,000 bits from one keeper to another. Kill them. Kill them all. <sighs> oh! He could have gave it to the keeper. Oh. Yep. Yep. You know what? Need bits I don't anymore. normally I don't normally use bits given to the keeper, but oh, these yeah. were given to kill you. So yes. <laughs> you just need to make Nick roll. That's all oh. you need. Oh. Oh. Make Nick roll, pal. But, so, so, but the, no, 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 that's not killing me. So you can't use them for that. You can't use them on the headdress. Ha! Because uh, the headdress. It's, it's calling. Kitty, it's kitty, calling. Kitty, kitty. Look. Dead is dead, however it happens. Oh, <laughs> anyway, we Wait, are... You do it to yourself or it's done to you. We are sidetracking. We are uh, here for this particular job in this particular time. Assuming we all survive this, we can talk about black pharaohs and pits of goo another time. Well, I'm very glad you said that because uh, I'm wondering how all this helps my sister. How long has he been there? He rolled 100. <laughs> we, were, we, were we were not paying distracted. attention. Oh. We were distracted. Uh, did, oh, sorry. You, did you document anything about the curse? We were hoping that... No. I, I, I mean, as far as I know, uh, there's not... I mean, maybe the vicar has some information about what this... But all I know is that they used the mark of the beast. I don't know what that is. How long has Eloise been like this? Has she transformed since she was a girl, or is it just 18? recent? Uh, so, what so she, about about seven? four years? Hmm. She, um, she nearly tore through her door last night. Uh, oh, her her patio door. The lock seems to have held. We should um, put it back. Wait, she's so she didn't leave her room last night. No. No. It was the the what? One. What did you hear? The other one. Wait, what? Oh, gods. I think there's another one. Oh, there's another on the... one? I think so. I think I think it helped her get out. I think it removed the stone. There's another beast I think helping so. my... I think so. Possibly. I think. That's that's our best working theory at the moment, oh, is so that what, there's Something possi- was outside what, last night. What's the evidence you have? There, there definitely was something mm-hmm. outside your door. Yeah. And, and then we when saw we something the out, other night. Well, we, didn't, well, we what, smelled something the other night. What time did you see it? And then, what, about nine? Yeah. Where was your sister at nine o'clock? In her, her room. room. Well, then there was, then it wasn't the sister you saw. No. And then. Wait! You saw something here. Yes. La- uh, the first night you, last night. Last night, yes. There was something outside of the window while we were in the smoking lounge. And I went out and had a look, and I smelled that horrible rotten it was, meat smell again. So. Do you know, is there any other female descendant of your family in the area? 
or someone else who may have been affected by a similar curse. I mean, it's impossible. The the last vain female before Eloise was almost a hundred years ago. Mm. Something else. You're certain that there isn't, and excuse me if I'm speaking out of turn, but a offshoot that you may not know about? I beg your pardon. We're examining Whoa. all possibilities. We're talking about a curse, which is it, interesting. It could have been several generations ago. It was much more common than back in, you know, hundreds of years ago. Your hypothesis is that some Lord Vane went astray and had a dalliance, and the offspring of that dalliance is somehow still alive as a horrible monster. Or the offspring of, of that, that offspring. offspring. Yes. It is possible. I mean, the curse on your family has lasted unabated for 400 years. It's not unthinkable that if someone had a, a, an indiscretion, that it may have passed along that line as well. And it wouldn't have been noticed until a daughter was born. Exactly. Yeah, it if could it, have been a, it, a male child it, initially. It was a son, child, uh, son yeah. born. I, I suppose, yes, I suppose that is possible. Um, I, I don't think there's any written record of the assignations of my family. Mm. Uh, have there been any claims? No. Mm. Do you have any, uh, where, yesterday, yesterday you said that you had smelled that smell before. Mm -hmm. Where did you smell it before? In the, in in the cave at, at, at Momtor. We went up looking around there and started smelling it. We went a little bit deeper and it got strong enough that we had to leave. were unwilling to pursue it further at that moment. It also told us to leave. Well, there's that. <laughs> it, it spoke. This thing whispered. English. Mm. Because when my sister changes, she's unintelligible. Did it have an English accent? Well, it just I mean, technical said here, but away. I don't think, I mean, you didn't hear enough. No, really. we just heard away. Yeah. Hmm. And maybe this is someone who's, who, who, who survived by being out in the caves and hiding. Or maybe the outside of the bloodline, the curse is weakened and they have some control, who knows? Mm. Enough control to have it only happen once a month on a, on a full moon. In well, I mean, they still have the smell all the time. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. wasn't midnight. Mm -hmm. It's during the day. I suggest a hunting trip take place in Mam Tor. Well, your father has invited us to go hunting pheasants. It, wouldn't, it shouldn't be too difficult to point him in that direction. Mm. What do you think? I was sort of hoping we go through some old records at the, at the Abbey, perhaps, or other town records. There may be something in there where. I, mean, I don't know. Do we have enough time before? No. What lunch? time is that? Yeah. I mean, if you if you wish, you can you can go and see the vicar while the rest go hunting. I'd actually probably go with you to the vicar's. Mm -hmm. I am intrigued by the hunt idea, though. It would be I daytime. Know. Well, no. it, it it would it would be daytime, but um, maybe. Maybe maybe splitting our resources is the better idea to get this settled as quickly as and possible. And I'm not really into the. Yes, I know. I know. I'm playing into your hand. Yeah, what do I'm not really into the, the 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 hunting. I've been on hunts before. What what are we gonna do? I mean, how's the hunt going to? How are we gonna turn it towards the hunt for this thing? Well, oh, just point in that in in that direction. I think we'll well, just find pheasants. You're not gonna we'll just find go pheasants. hunt in a cave. You're gonna mm -hmm. be just in, mm -hmm. in the trees and mm -hmm. there'll be there'll be dogs and maybe even horses. Mm -hmm. Is it that kind of hunt? Mm -hmm. Why are you hunting horses? Oh, don't, <laughs> don't you ride on horses? For pheasants? No, we're not fox hunting. Oh, oh pheasant yes. hunting. But there will be dogs, correct? There, there is a dog. Oh. Not supposed to Shotguns. Be yes, there will be shotguns, yes. He told you, yeah, no, I think, I think. Jodpers will be probably th tweed. Well, do, you, do you need a full inventory? It sounds like a, like a very English experience. And I think I would yes. like to try. It's a very it's, English lord experience. I, which I've never done before. Well, we can go. I don't, I don't recommend, recommend it. it. But 
you're not going to go. We could go hunting and I have the no interest in hunting. Would you yes, go yes. to the vicars and see if they had any other info? I mean, I don't know how much they would tell you. Uh, the, the vicar is a very kind man, and, and he, uh, I will tell you that I have, in speaking with him, he knows about my sister's condition. Ah. Oh, he would be helpful. Ah. So then... It's be- well, we should do it. Well, especially if you are there with one of us to give tacit Perfect. approval for oh, our, yes, our investigation. I'm, ha- I'm happy to. That sounds great. I will. I'll be very happy to go. So, do you two want to go with him to the vicars? <sighs> I want to go. With, I want to go to the vicars, but I also want to go hunting. Can't be in two places at once. Oh. Not until not, not until they invent time turners. Damn you, Heisenberg! <laughs> <laughs> we say that a lot around here. Yes. Well, I think I better go to the vicars. I think I'll be more more useful there. It's, the hunting thing sounds like fun, but it's, it's not really a useful or use of my time. It's a, it's a lot of walking around in countryside and really banal conversation. But that does sound like fun, though. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. It's, it's not as much fun yes. as you think it is. I promise. Mm-hmm. But no. we'll, we'll be dressed for the occasion. Different kinds of. Uh, Do you hunting. have tweeds? No. <laughs> And you'll be wearing what you're wearing unless we unless we loan something. Let's borrow some tweeds and maybe no, a lovely it's... hunting cap. All of those burned in the ship. So. I had them. <laughs> they were nice. See, so, so, and then they burned. So, don't think I should go with him by myself. Of the sea. Mm. What do you think? I paid so much for those. <laughs> Let's try to get him. We'll try to get him to go. When you get back to London, there'll be a dress waiting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It'll match your. your It'll match your. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so this is how this is supposed to go. <laughs> so Joseph and Joan will will go to the vicar. All right, let's All go. Right. We can bring torches, but I don't think we're actually gonna. I, I would I I want to I want to have a torch with us anyway. Mm-hmm. Speed mm-hmm. Uh So are you gonna try and point Lord Vane towards Mam Tor? Sure. All right. Going Somebody, one of you two, that. can make like a persuade. How's your persuade, friend? Nope. But like, or I'll charm, persuade or charm, I accept. No, I can do fast talk. You know what? I'd accept fast talk. Go Most I'll do is be like, well, if you've already hunted them all over here and over here, <laughs> best bet's going to be over here. <laughs> I Not horrible, but not nearly a success. Just with talk, how talk bad money with them. So, yeah, no, me neither. So, mm. on any uh, um, so what'll happen is... I stab things. I don't talk to people. You're going to have... Uh, <laughs> You know, you know what? This this could be a chance. For... Yeah, come on, you've got my highest my highest social skill is a twenty five. I mean, that's not bad for me. Go for you, it. Just like you, a whole five points you... higher. I, I'll second it. that. Go for it. Go for it. Ah, I like those sorry. odds. Yeah, do it. Worse. Ha! Ah. You pulled an Amy. It's Put him on the Amy. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> it's not an Emma, but it is an Amy. Yep. Is one day me? I'll convince someone of something. <laughs> Good luck, mate. No. And on that day, the better. bards will sing. Mm-hmm. Well, you were uh, there. So yeah, I know. you, um, you know, you guys are like, you, you make a few ham-handed attempts to be like, boy, saw a lot of pheasants over at Mam Tor, and uh, he's like, oh, no, that's not pheasant country. What the ridiculous? And he'll lead you on a merry traipse through the forest at the foot of the hill that the the castle is on. Mm-hmm. Um, you can both make a skill check on shotgun. Oh. Yes, right on. Well, you want to fail this because you're. This oh. is like. This is like a. Oh, this is. Oh, this. I'm yeah, trying to yeah. fail. Oh, yeah. what? what? <laughs> Nailed it. This is. You get. This is. A, so it's like you got a check on shotgun. <sighs> so you add a d10 to shotgun. I got a 29. Exactly. Which is exactly a, what my no, skill no. is. I got a 92. That is very nice. frustrating. And I rolled a one. You did not tell us. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And Fine. No, it's one. free. That's something. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm it's a free point. It's a free point. Down damn. damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You could you could inspire to try and fail. fail. <laughs> Ooh, do you want to do it? You have good chances to it? fail. I mean, my shotgun's a twenty-nine. It's a good chance to fail. You could roll a one as well. Yeah, you've got a it's, seventy-one percent chance. If anyone chance. will second it, you've already got it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, All right. Fine. Just watch. Oh, good. Eighty-one. All right. So you get a D ten to your shotgun. Oh, roll a ten. Roll a ten. Four. It's still good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Um, and that's going to be most of your afternoon of just like happily blazing away. <laughs> Grabbing pheasant for dinner? <laughs> do, do we, oh, we don't eat these. Oh. It's ridiculous. They're full of shot. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. No, I give them to the inn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. Yeah, no, we're just traipsing around keeping it. Um, the four. But you will both now, going hunting with Lord Vane, mm -hmm. you'll have advantage in any role to, like, any social skill with Lord Vane. Cool. Because he, like, he... He build, This is how he bonds with people, mm -hmm. shooting things. Nice. And I've been on lordly hunts before, so I know all the small talk things to sure. to play off. He is, I mean, we yeah, just, we so just come from London. You'll, I both, have have, you'll both have advantage on any sort of social thing with Lord Vane. Cool. Nice. Um, while we are traipsing through the forest, do we see any like evidence of a big creature coming through here? You can both make spot hidden rolls. Uh, yes, hard success. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's always so surprised. Yeah, that was a journey. Success. That was a journey. <laughs> well, because I, I, I see the nine, and my first thought is like it's a ninety something. <laughs> yeah, but how ninety something? Uh, is, all right, how ninety nine. something you is both, it? You both notice at one point, um, you stop briefly, and uh, Lord Vane is looking at something, and you see a um, a, a shrub with a small fragment of a white lacy material on it. Maybe a tear off, a piece torn off of a nightgown. It seems yeah. it seems feminine. I'm I'm keep, keep him keep yeah. him distracted, and I'm and I'm gonna go over and like have a look at it. What do you yeah. find is the best way to? Uh... He'll yeah he'll. <laughs> Let me tell you, my boy. <laughs> um, it's yeah it is a small uh, fragment a tear of a women's a woman's dressing gown. And it's the same sort of thing that I would be that I would wear. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So oh, I'm gonna. You're the werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that tired. That's why the seal worked. <laughs> uh, I'm 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 gonna pull pull the little bit off and slip it into a pocket and okay. look around. I mean, there's only a little bit there, so you mm -hmm. pretty much take, take the whole thing. Yeah. yeah, just pull it pull it off, slip mm -hmm. it into my pocket, and look sure. around to see if there's like any like big tracks leading in any direction. Uh, you don't see any. Make a track roll. Uh. I'm, 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 I'm like something tearing through the underbrush. Nope. So you figure that it's been too long, like it's time. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the nightgown definitely looks beat up, like it's been exposed to mm. the elements for a while. So I feel like maybe this has been out here for several days at least. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Okay. That's fair to say. I'm going to re rejoin the men. All right, so yeah, you guys hunt for the rest of the, the afternoon. Uh, you all go to see Reverend Stratton, oh, the yes. vicar. Yes. Good afternoon again, Reverend Stratton. Oh. Uh, but then he'll see that Lawrence is there and he'll uh, he'll uh, he'll cheer up a little and uh, hello, um, I'm I'm Reverend Stratton. Uh, how can I help you, uh, Lawrence? Oh, oh, Reverend Lawrence has told us a little bit about the the family problem that I'm sure that you're very much aware of. We were hoping to look at some of the church's old records. He's like looking at Lawrence. Yes, I told them about the curse. It's fine. We were hoping to look through some of the church's old records, um, going back perhaps as late as six, the early 1600s. You gotta, th 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 let me do it. Oh. So, oh. Oh. <laughs> and there he will stay. Um, so <laughs> On we, his face. We want to learn more about the situation involving um, an ancient relative of his, um, Miss Lady Evella Evangeline Vance, Vane, excuse me, and uh, the, the trial that she was involved in, the, the witch trial that was involved And, there. and, we want to know what you knew about the Mark of the Beast. Hmm, well, well, uh, to begin with your query, um, yes, I do have some records on that, and uh, the uh, and then he starts going through a book, and um, he has uh, he has uh, um, as he's sort of going through all this stuff. He and in the course of making small talk, he mentions that no veins are buried here. Uh, they have a mausoleum in the castle, uh, Ooh. <laughs> and uh, and he will. Uh, um, he will say uh, that, uh, yeah, he has a, a book that is about the trial, and it describes uh, the witch Annie Stafford is the one who cursed, who put the mark of the beast. Uh, and 
uh, put the mark of the beast and cursed the vain family and uh, all of the female descendants. Okay. And um, the same, but the same book sort of, um, the same book also like prosaically describes the beast of Edale. And and seems to imply that it was around before the curse. Yeah. Those okay. are interesting turn of events. Okay. But Vic, Vicky, what do you think of this? The, the story that the beast existed before the curse? Well, um, I think... I think it's superstition, personally. I think that, uh, you know, there, there's... There was no real evidence. There were no attacks or anything like that that we can find records of before that. Um, and hmm. we have fairly uh, concrete evidence of this curse and the impact it has on the women of the Vane family. So you do believe in the curse? I have, I have seen Eloise when she has changed. Hmm. It's awful. How do you keep her um, contained? I believe that's a question for Lawrence. Yeah. Yes. Well, wait, um. When you described the beast to me yesterday, is this the same beast we're speaking of? Is it Eloise? Yes, although I must admit, um, and I must apologize, young man, uh, yesterday I was perhaps a little brusque in my responses to you. Um, I... I take no small amount of pride in being the protector of the heritage of Lesser Edale, and um, I was not, um, I was perhaps dismayed at the idea of uh, some sort of journalistic mm. muck dragging of my, hmm. my town. Uh, it appears that Lawrence trusts you and has entrusted in you the greatest secret he has, and so uh, I trust you as well. well oh. Nice to hear that. Thank you very much. Well, one of the things we were trying to figure out is, is this reversible? Can we do something to, to, to thwart it? Yes, your second question, the mark of the beast. Yes. That uh, I'm afraid I have less information on. Um, I do not have a great deal of uh, uh, knowledge in those areas. Um, I suggested to Lawrence that he contact uh, purveyors of such thing in London, and I understand he mm. was in contact with someone. Uh, the less I know about that, the happier I am. Mm -hmm. It does seem that at, at the time, there wasn't, someone had the power to place the curse. Uh, there's some sort of profane, um, pagan ritual of some sort. Yes, she um, was a witch. Is it possible that the church perhaps collected these profound, pagan, uh, her heretical manuscripts or books or whatnot and, and stored them somewhere safe where no one else would be able to uh, use them? Well, one of the schisms between the Church of England and the Catholic Church revolves around just that sort of thing. The Catholic Church is perhaps more willing to use the knowledge of evil deeds to combat those deeds. Oh, I wish Emma was here. Mm. The, uh, <laughs> the Church of England does not share that belief, and to the best of my knowledge, um, destroys all such paraphernalia that it comes in contact with. <sighs> and we were hoping perhaps it was stored somewhere for safekeeping, and that perhaps we could access those. <laughs> yes. uh, I do not think something like that can ever be kept safe. Uh, we were hoping when you have artifacts like that that are evil, you cannot keep them on your person. The, the, the lure to use that power is inescapable, and would, and is not that temptation, the <laughs> original story of the fall of man. That's true. But I do understand that among the Celtic traditions, they had both white and dark magic. 
perhaps there are different ways that they could uh, uh, do a spell of this sort. My boy. Lawrence, Lawrence trusts you, and thus I trust you. However, I, w- I will not be party to witchcraft or white oh. magic. Oh, no, don't, no. Um, oh. Agreed, agreed, totally agreed. But combating that, would you be willing to have anything we could use? Uh, exorcisms are more a Catholic. Uh, mm. hmm. Yeah, yeah, and that's true. That's what I was thinking of. The, is, is there anyone in this village that, that knows about those old arts or still practices some of those, those old ways? Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just go Are there like any this. witches here? Let's do this. Let's do this. This is like... Oh, you're so Well, innocent. Silvano. So <laughs> <laughs> um, make a spot hidden roll. All right, let's see. Uh, 20, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, success. Cool. That's a that that that's out. a twenty. So that's a hard Wait, success. Tw- tw- I got. Oh got, no, I was looking at that. Yeah, sorry. You would Three swear success. when you ask that question that the vicar's eyes dart at Lawrence briefly. Ooh. Hmm. And then he says, mm, "No, I'm sure I don't." Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, Interesting. Uh, so, Joan, are there any records you think you'd like to see other than about the trial? <sighs> Yes, that's, if we can uh, see, maybe we can get some other um, ideas of where to look. Maybe genealogy would be good to look through. Ideas of where to look for what? A way to, to reverse the curse. Hmm, I see. We should have the curse reversed. Uh, I mean, you're welcome to look through everything I have. Thank you. Um, you can spend the whole afternoon here. You can both make library use rolls. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, yeah. That's a very good roll. That's, yeah. Success. Regular success. We might have a hard here. <laughs> yeah. A yeah, hard success. Oh, yeah, totally. Right. But not quite. Um, epic. So, yeah, you find genealogy stuff that backs up what you saw at the castle. Check it off. That, um, you know, that the last female vein was 17, well, sorry, 18, the early 1800s lived right. to be 35. Um And that 35 is about the oldest that any vein woman has ever lived to be um and you um you once again find reference to um the uh you once again find it's... find reference to the fact that uh after the curse uh no veins were buried in the church right and they started the mausoleum and now they mm. bury everyone in the mausoleum yeah. can we track down descendants of any stafford Mm. From the genealogy. Ooh, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. That we need to. If she to has get any her. sentence, if she was executed. Uh, yeah, you know. made a hard roll. Sure. Uh, so um, it looks like uh, there are no descendants of either witch. Mm. There was another witch. There was Annie Stafford and Jenny Green. Okay. But you do not find any descendants of them. Okay. And they were burnt. Those names, those. All right. All right. Hmm. Oh gosh, let's see what else can we. This guy. <laughs> Offshoots of the Vane family. If I yes. ask you, Vicar, about yes. the phrase "mark of the beast," that, that sounds like a, a, a Christian term, not really a, a Celtic term. Uh, well, I mean. During the, during that time, there was a great deal. I mean, witches were hunted by the church, and were, uh, uh, you know, I'm sure that the church was involved in uh, ridding the world of those two witches. Because hmm. the the mark of the beast would not be placed upon a witch by by the devil, or is that something else? I'm thinking from Catholic mythology. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that that, that was yeah. actually... Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, he will go off for about an hour <laughs> on this, like, rant about, you know, Catholics and their, like, uh, their, like, 
fantasy life and all this this crap and um it's it becomes very clear to you that he's a religious man in spirit but not a like you know he he might be more of a um a humanist mm. Mm. Like, like doesn't quite believe the miracles right right you know he doesn't say and the jesus stuff but yeah. you know that's the sense <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. you're that's the and sense the that you're getting. Stuff, yes. Hmm. Oh, God, yeah. Can't think of anything else to to ask this guy. Um, Can you? And uh, yeah. Uh, oh, and you'll find. So you find. Uh, you also find records um, of uh, Plum Castle. The ca that's the name of the castle. Right. Uh, and you find records that go all the way back to the reign of Charles II, which was about 700 years ago. Um, and, and you find a record that shows the deed of uh, the titling of the veins. Um, Wellington vein was knighted by Charles II 700 years ago. The first vein, essentially. Yeah. First Lord vein. For service to the crown, he was knighted. Okay. Didn't he say it was Henry II? That was when, no, that was That's the That's when castle. it was built originally, That's 1175. Built. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This would have been now 12 something. Right. Charles. I believe Charles II is also the guy who started the. Uh, I'm going to be totally wrong, Tam. I think that's the English, the, the War of the Roses, but I'm not 100%. Okay. No, that was in the 1600s. I'm totally wrong. Yeah, War of the Roses was yeah. later. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's the stuff you get there. Um, cool. All right. And, uh, um, oh, you'll also get, a, 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 you'll just get a little about the relay of this land, which is, it was since... Uh, since the time that this valley was inhabited, it's because it is a source of lead. There are lead mines through that went uh, throughout that these fun. hills. All right. Um, Superman can't see the werewolves. <laughs> I was gonna say everyone has lead, lead poisoning. poisoning. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> it's in the water. Yeah. Not that we know any better in this time. No, we don't. We but don't. that lead paint is delicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, and um, is that yeah. where the on the on the the tour? Yeah, um, that Mama was definitely Tor, Mom the... Tor was a huge lead mine for a long time. Perfect. All okay. right. Uh, it's you know by the time you go get back around the same time, it's about four o'clock. You get back, you have some tea, yes. some cake. Mm. Mm. Oh yes, afternoon tea. Uh, biscuits. Some, you have been very thoroughly British. Some bickies. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that is what. It, anybody want to do anything before dinner? Put the stone back. No. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. You no. Put the stone back. No. Why won't you put the stone back? She. She didn't get out. It, 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 but but it's protective. So something might be trying to help get her out. Putting that. And stone then it's going to steal stone. Be, I mean, the stone should work on it too. But it stole it before. Well, I mean, well, yeah. Maybe, maybe one of you should just watch the balcony at night. <laughs> Any <laughs> volunteers? That's, that's the, not me. <laughs> I don't want to do it. But, uh, but perhaps you? No. <laughs> no. You, you, you're very capable. Yes, I also need sleep. Hmm. <laughs> well, how was the hunting trip? It was interesting. Oh. Found some pheasants. Found some, found some pheasants, delivered them to the inn. Don't eat the pheasant at the end. <laughs> oh. Pick out the metal bits. Yeah, but I found this. What? What is it? And I pull out the the, the piece of the like lace, and um, it's 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 something it's that tore off of a woman's nightgown. Hmm. Out in the middle of the woods. I mean, she she probably got out in the past, right? Yeah. It's only a few days old. Yeah, I was gonna say, how can we see? Can we? 
Queen. Like, I don't think it's like three months old or anything like that. It's only been the last couple of days, maybe. Maybe a week. Yeah. Okay. It's not like threadbare, but right. it's definitely been exposed to the elements. It, gotcha, a week gotcha. at the absolute outside. Well, I mean, she did get out. Didn't didn't Lawrence tell us that he's kept her contained? That she hasn't gotten out mm -hmm. since. Yeah, well, didn't, didn't she, since the stuff with Tummy. Yeah, yeah. She, didn't she kill a couple of the villagers? Well, that was longer ago than a couple of days ago. No, it, was, it, was, it was. That was like three months ago. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Oh, I, is there this, this has not been out there for three months. This has been out there a week. Is there anything week? about that that we can use to narrow down <sighs> who it is? Yeah. Who, it's like I don't, don't have We, we believe there's another that. one. There's a second at least. Mm -hmm. So who is the second? Do we want to go out after tea? Where? <sighs> Put it nice Back to Mamtor? Yeah, bring torches. Torches, yes. We're not relying on even your interesting torches. <laughs> Did a pretty good job on those, though. Yes, yeah. <laughs> they we don't want okay. Molotovs. We don't want Molotovs. <laughs> we want to. Uh, wait, hold on. We might. <laughs> we might. OK, you say that now. Yeah, so make some of them, but I'm we won't be using them. Any of... Gods, I missed on all. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why don't we talk to Lawrence and see what he knows about uh, the, the curse? Mm -hmm. I get a sense that Lawrence knows more than he's telling us. Okay. What, what yeah. makes you think that? Well, the vicar implied that perhaps Lawrence would be someone who knew more about the old Celtic traditions and the cursing. Someone who knows, perhaps. And he has tried to look into perhaps. things, so I mean, A left-hand he... path, so to speak. Yeah, but, but, but he doesn't know how to fix it, or he would have. But he may have done research. Well, we may see. as well ask. Let's see what sure. he knows. True. Can we, uh, we yeah, you find, yeah, you find him. We corner him. <laughs> hey, Lawrence. <laughs> Just like pull him, pull him aside. Yes. Yes. Uh, no one's around. His father's not yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Just us. I, I wanted to inquire with you about if you had any particularized knowledge in, in the curse itself, the old curse from 400 years ago. Have you studied it? Have you done any research and perhaps I've reversing it? I've done some, it? yes. I, I, I mean, I'm trying to do anything I can to help Eloise. Yes, mm. yes. Could you share with us what you know so far? Well, I, I, I haven't been able... They called it the Mark of the Beast. Um, and I haven't been able to, to figure out what that means. I mean, she does transform into an awful beast at night. Have you tried to perform any rituals to help change her back? I wouldn't have the first idea how to do so. That's why okay, I. That's why we were trying to ask if there I, was That's why I entreated Mr. Crowley to create mm. those uh, protection runes, and I thought they were somewhat effective. Yes, they yeah. were. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do we believe it's a Celtic curse or a curse of some other um, occult tradition? I. I mean, that would be hard to say, know. wouldn't it? Because well, well, it was supposedly Andy it was Stafford witches. Changing. It's well, witches, the cast. Yes, yes, witches, so, but, but in the 1600s. The, the witches are really more of a, a, a Christian tradition, not a Celtic tradition. Well, maybe, well maybe I mean, anything can it could have been. you in for being... They a, would just call everybody witches. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. Hmm. I'm so, having I mean, we'd trouble really understanding the why the distinction period. is important. Well, then we know where to look. Yeah. Historically. Potentially what kind of... what they did. I see. We can, we can narrow that down from there. And there's no... there's no scientific cure you can think of? Milk. <laughs> really? What, why milk? No, actually, no, because I was looking into dispelling. I, I, I did the whole thing. Uh, oh, geez, what was all the stuff I looked into? Oh, milk was Elias. commonly used in in a lot of uh, dispelling curses. Uh, can I roll intelligence, Steve? Because I, I actually did do right. this yeah, research. Sure. Are you believing that? <laughs> well, no, it's just, it's just like, bleh, I'm just like... <laughs> Vomiting out all of the stuff that I remember for yeah I, yeah, yeah so uh, yeah you you recall you were studying uh, stuff around the elder sign mm -hmm. and around protection and yeah. that milk especially I bet I wrote it all down especially like unpasteurized animal milk right. like Just, yeah. you know natural milk used fresh milk uh, circles lime uh, various herbs yeah yeah milk uh, is also very good. Uh, for um, dealing with things you can't see. Mm. It is... <laughs> yes, I remember. <laughs> well, first you tried blood. That was a... Yeah. Mm. No, we didn't We're intentionally try seeing. blood. He was bleeding and just decided <laughs> to spray it in that direction. And I, I did take notes on some of those uh, 
some of those circles. So I actually have some stuff. I actually, I kept all my notes from all that so stuff. So Eloise should drink milk. I mean, Possibly. it might help. Possibly bathe in it. Uh, yeah. yeah, maybe. Bathe in with with, with some. It has of those. to be fresh milk. Well, you well, have. This is going to be a fun conversation. Uh, it's something to try. I mean, this is this is just going off of old uh, old well, folklore. Why, why wouldn't she want to to try to end the curse? She doesn't remember. Oh. The... Oh. So she cries because she doesn't understand why she's locked away. Yeah. How do you know she cries? I have very good hearing. Hmm. Yes, she doesn't understand why we lock her away. Well, does your father know that she's being locked away as well? Uh, y yes. But she doesn't understand why she's being locked away, and you haven't talked to her about this? Well, those conversations haven't gone particularly well. Mm -hmm. She thinks that I am crazy, overbearing, and trying to control her life. I can see that. As I, most, I beg your pardon? Well, I can see that, if I'm being a... Oh. As, as most late teen, early 20s young women would think in I, some I this see, sort of circumstance. I, I assure you, I'm doing nothing of the sort. Of course not. No, you're, you're, you're doing well to keep this as contained as you can. I can see how it weighs on you. Thank you, thank you. Well, uh, I'm off to try and convince a headstrong young woman to take a bath in milk. Well, there's also the circles, and I, I just, I, again, I just draw <laughs> and all this stuff. And I have notes, you know, I just have notes. I will pull out all the notes specific to the elder sign. Just right. Just pass over papers, don't set these on fire somehow or anything. I'll need these, but if you want to review. It, it, can you make one of those things? Which? Like the, like the thing that Crowley made. Oh, uh, you can make a Crowley's protective circle. They're called elder signs. They're called elder signs. <laughs> I. It's not what he. I don't. I yes, don't well. think I. Not currently. Why not? Because it 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 uh, it, it requires a price, and I can't oh. pay that price anymore. Ooh, like a, like a soul. Physical mm. price. Spiritual. I meant. What like price that. did Crowley pay when he created the door and the other items? He, he, he's his own. He's his own thing. Fun he's story. His own. When you're insane, you don't pay prices. <laughs> mm. Wait, what? Well, then how does Silvano? No, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> he's not insane <laughs> yet. <laughs> I'm actually pretty sane. Yes, Silvano, yes, which, which herbs do you have noted down there as ones that might dispel magic? It was just vague. Or curses. Yeah, you can just. But like it was. You can name a couple. Yeah, you yeah. you know, come I, up. I think with the running wolf, joke wolf space was parsley sage. Was, yeah. Cilantro. Cilantro. Well, I mean, the joke is cilantro. Yes, yeah. but Parch, <laughs> parsley no, sage no, was no, made. Cilantro is the word. But that, I was just still herbs, and that I knew herbs. It was just a catch-all. You I mean, can name a couple. You name a couple, and yeah. you know he's like, and and I make a circle of those around. No, the circle's out of lime. If you're doing a circle, you want to do the circle. Follow the notes. It may help to 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 put the herbs into the milk. Yes. Combine them. Yes, I I know. I I, I believe me. I understand. These probably won't work. If I might. <laughs> Well, I think uh, you just want to set the expectations I think, now. is that the name of our things? next one? And this probably <laughs> won't work. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to get your hopes up here. These are just things to try. They might alleviate, uh, maybe. The, Lord, the Elder Sign is the only thing I know of that actually does it, anything. Is it's, there anyone in the village that currently practices any form of old witchcraft, a Celtic uh, mythos spellcasting? You mean like a druid? A druid would be excellent. Anyone like that? I, no, not really. I, I sling tried to learn some of this. Mm. Uh, what what resources did you use to try and learn this? Are there mainly Mr. Crowley? Mm. He oh. sent me. Um, I don't want to talk to him. No, no. What did he, he send you? you? Yeah. Some really <laughs> rambling letters. Oh, mm. we should look at those. Yes, and, and that stone. Mm. Although we should yes. go, we should look at the letters later. I would like Should to see the letters get, if we could. Could we get a head start on leaving now if we are going to go to the caves? We need torches. You're well, going? Torches. I'll, I'll get you what you need, yes. Mm. Thank Perfect. You. Oh, Perfect. Well, well, I don't think we should go to the caves. We, no, we it, have to. It's Daylight's tea burning. time, and the sun's going down in about two hours. Oh, no, the sun's going down in about an hour. An it's hour. January, this, February. Yeah. Oh, we're, not, well, we're not going to the caves. February. 
That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be dark either way, like whether or not it's like dark it's in the cave or in the middle of the day or dark in the middle of the night. I don't know if it'd be dark only some place, not every place. I don't want to go there. I don't. Well, that's crazy. No, no, but we, okay. have, we have to. It's part of what we the what we need to do. I mean, she doesn't change until and... midnight. She doesn't. Yeah. But whatever yeah. I ran into outside of of the of the house last night, it was nine o'clock. It's true. It's a great point. It's nine so, o'clock p.m. Yes, in the dark. But you guys, we saw it saw in, the cave in the even, daytime. Yeah. Well, we heard. So it's all the same. And we should get them. going before yes. I get any more tired than I already am. <laughs> no, agreed. Agreed. Uh, is anyone bringing weapons? Yes. I mean, yes. Right. We're, we're going to be missing dinner? No, we're not going to miss dinner. <laughs> dinner That's dinner, why we're leaving dinner now. Dinner is in the club house. <laughs> I've got my crowbar. Okay, how long do we get back? We'll be back in time for dinner, right? I yes. am actually yes. passing. Yes. Okay. Just, what yes. am I bringing with me? I was going to say, is anybody bringing a weapon they can't conceal? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, give, give me something. Bringing the rifle? Or the, sh- oh, or I have the an shotgun? Idea. Oh, or I mean, or... Shotguns are fine. I, I, I'll, I'll pull you in and ask idea. your advice. I actually don't know much <laughs> about <laughs> guns. He opens a case and there's like... <laughs> and and, and I, me to keep these safe for him. And I just like look down at them and sigh. Gods, I miss Donald. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to have him here right now. Right, well, uh, I've got something very useful. I've got my cricket back. <laughs> Going out with the <laughs> cricket bat. Oh, Yosef. Hey. It, it, it doesn't even you know what? I, I'm going to use him as the distraction. Speaking <laughs> out with the actual gun. All right. Is that a cricket bat? <laughs> and I have, I have a ball. And a well, that's a wicked club. googly. <laughs> which, which one do you want to bring with you? I, the, the, the rifle is good at range, but there were a lot of corners in there. The sawed-off shotgun is a lot better for close-range yeah, stuff. And I should probably pro bring tip, it. easier to conceal. Yep, probably oh, bringing the sawed-off and the handgun for when I freak out, throw the sawed-off shotgun inside, and need another firearm. Inside a cave. Yes, it's going you to be very fire loud. Fire a shotgun? <laughs> yes, it's going to be very loud. That's right. Yusuf might no. be the only one of you that doesn't have permanent hearing damage yet. <laughs> yet. I'm just yet. used to it now. Yet. <laughs> but you learn to live with the tinnitus. At a certain point. Are there I'm any just like... used to lots of hand signals. I'm getting used to like this. Maybe go ahead and like run, yeah. run. run. Al- Alexandria already speaks sign language because she was mute for like two years. So. <laughs> All right. Um, you may have to. I'm gonna have to use that as my, my next plan. There it is. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask Lawrence if there's any like like earmuffs or anything like that, that would protect against the winter cold, but also. Uh, make a luck roll. Hmm. Nice. Ooh. 28. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to get four sets. Here. Yeah. <laughs> it's that cold in the cave? Yes. Yosef? Fine. It will help deaden the sounds. Then we won't be able to hear anything coming to get us. That's true. <laughs> We don't put Side on benefit. Start. <laughs> when you see me put mine on, put yours on. Earmuffs. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> um, all right, Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence will, you know, we wish you luck. And Thank he you. goes up to uh, try and get Eloise to take a milk bath. Good yes. luck. Milking. Where's he gonna get that much milk? Salon There's cows, cows around here. <laughs> Goats. Tidwell is uh, <laughs> on it. A font of information, I'm sure. Yes. All right, so we're dairy, heading. So. It's a sponge bath. All right, uh, electric torches. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, you yes. have yes. you have like the car battery torches. ones. You have like two electric torches. Yes. Yes. Two of the big car battery right. ones that will last a good long time. So. Sweet. Right. Who is carrying the torches? I need my hands free. I will carry one of the torches. I'll, I'll carry a torch. All mm-hmm. right. I because I need my hands free. I have case. one hand. <laughs> I got a cricket bat. I'm ready. Oh, crow. Interesting crowbar. Yes. Good choice. Uh, so. You get to the door and Tidwell appears out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Will you be back for dinner? Yes. Definitely. Hopefully. That's yes. the plan. Definitely. Yes. Of course. I shall set your places. Thank you very Thank much. You. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you, it's about a 45 minute walk to Mam Tor. Can we, can we get a ride? From whom? Yeah, Anyone. Lawrence is. Lawrence is up in the room. Are you mm-hmm. just going to... Tidwell will appear. He will say, you require transportation? Yes. His lordship has told me to give you every convenience. And so... And he holds out the keys to the little... The vein mobile. Oh, cool. Oh. So can anyone... I can drive. I have drive auto 40. 
So okay, I good. Can drive. Wow. <laughs> You're driving. All right. So you've never driven a museum piece no. before. No. <laughs> no, this is, this is like freaking a, me out. You're like, this is like a, a model T. Yep. <laughs> can, can we get some rope? I'm sorry. Sorry. A, a large length of rope and perhaps some some stakes and maybe some hammers. It's a oh, cave, good. right? No, no, no. It, it's that not, sort of it's a not cave. that. It's not speed length. Oh, oh no, but that's, uh, caves go underground. They do. And they yes. get wet and dick and dark and slippery, and you need ropes and. Which it, case? No, no, you been no, in? no, no, no. I've been. I, I've been. We're not going before. that far. We're not going that far. Hopefully, we'll be fine. Uh, ropes would be g- very useful. Uh, Don't worry about it. As Maybe some poles. Should. All right. He disappears. <laughs> All right. Shovels, pickaxes. We're not mining. That's not the kind of thing we're looking for. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. You've been underground before. Yes. This is not, we're not going to, we're not going This to, is a, already a mine. Yeah. We have, this has already been mined. It's, we've already, it's, uh, it has a large opening. It has a place to walk through. It, it could have collapsed. It could have uh, In holes. the last 24 hours? We, I haven't been we there. We have we're been off. in. <laughs> All right. Let's so go. this is happening on the 45 minute yes. walk there. Yeah. Um, uh, you get. Are, are we driving? Oh, that's right. On the 35-minute drive. (laughs) Hey, we saved 10 minutes. Um, You you park, you know, at the base of Mom Tor, and you sort of walk kind of a spiral thing up. The cave entrance is about halfway up. Mm -hmm. And now that um, it's a little, it's still a little light out, you do see that there is a, like, sign hanging, like, halfway off. Uh, listing this as what's the name of the mine? This is a lead mine, mm-hmm. and it was. <laughs> Don't refer to it as the old mine. That's not useful. Ye old mine. You're going to the mine. old mine, are you? Like shaft seventeen <laughs> or something. <laughs> it is. Yeah, we're the ones getting shafted. <laughs> <laughs> da 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 da. Bing. Uh, it is the Blue John mine. Ah. Got it. John was sad when he discovered it. So sad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. You two have the torches? Yes. Well, yes. you're going to need the divining rods. Mm. That's fair. So for now, I'll hold one of the torches. Right. All right. Drop it if you need to use yep. the shotgun. Well, put it down. Well, let's first see if you... Uh... All right. No, and, and So this is crazy. <laughs> yes. yes, it is. Yes. But where do you want to start with the crazing? Um, so far, how, how? It's not like there's attacks from this this other one. Do we think there's a chance that it's actually not hostile, and that maybe we shouldn't start shooting it right away? Well, what makes I agree? What What makes you think that this one isn't hostile? Well, there haven't been other why attacks. Why haven't there been? Yeah, why haven't there been any other attacks? Maybe they. I don't know. We, we the have only guns that we that they know of. Is when she okay. got out. Yeah. Okay. We have guns, and we can we can hold our ground. But you're right. We don't have to shoot right away unless it attacks. We could try to talk to it. Yeah. All right. It's worth a try. It's worth a try. But and guns are faster than almost anything. So. Yeah. Except for monsters closing in on you, <laughs> they're not as fast as that. But you you would think that they would be more. F- they, they would be faster, but they're really just. Yeah. Well, you got your knives too, so we're good. Yeah. That's done me so much good. Mm. All right. We wish you stay at the castle. <laughs> You're going to be saying that a lot around us. <laughs> Back at uh, the castle. So you enter the mine. Yes. And within about, within losing sight of the the sunlight, the smell is there. Mm-hmm. And the what rods are What is that awful too. smell? Are you yeah. so? Oh, so you put down we get the in, flashlight and the. Well, he he's, he's, he has the flashlight now, and this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So back you back here. Yeah, the rods are definitely pulling. Yes, yeah. you're S- feeling the pull inside. Something died in here. No, I think it's still alive. That's that's the smell that Lawrence said accompanies his sister as well. Oh, that's awful. Turns. Yes. Mm. When she turns. Maybe yeah, this was not fun. a good idea, guys. What are we doing? We are going to find out. Yeah. What this is? What, no, it's not a good idea. Go away. We, we all heard want that. to uh-huh. help, or at least talk. We'd like to talk. 
Who are you? Go away! We did once and it didn't help, so we're back. Oh, Lord. Keep going. Is, is there something we can give you? A, a tribute or gift or something? Silence. Oh, that's weird to show. Yeah, yeah, Keep yeah. going. Good Keep answer. going. All right. The um, following. So Gotta you. Shine the light wherever you're pointing yeah. at. Yeah, all right. Flash so you're just following with the. You keep following the pull, and you are now. Um, it's chilly, actually. You are inside, uh, inside the mountain. Um, you have descended. Uh, sorry, I, let me rephrase that. It's actually warm because you are descending. Oh. Mm. So it's actually warming up. Um, and uh, it was chilly outside yes. here. It's warm. Um, and the mine is in relatively good shape. So you, you, you know, it's it's fairly easy travel. The smell is just now omnipresent. Like you've you've almost built up. A, a, like you don't notice it, which is really disturbing. Oh, yeah. it's gonna be bad showing up for dinner. It's like the monkey house. When when you're in there long enough, you you just stop smelling it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, you come into a small chamber that was probably like, you know, a, a break room for the miners or something, or mm -hmm. like an office, and uh, it's basically empty, and you hear that voice again, go away. Does it sound closer? It, it, it sounds different. Hmm. Hmm. Where are the rods pointing to? So out of this room, there are three ways. It's pointing at the one that seems to descend. Oh, goody. Of course. We'll keep going down. OK. Yep. Could, you could All right, everybody it? make a listen roll. Ooh. No. Oh, no. wow. No. No. Uh, <laughs> Is that all those? Critical success. Oh, critical, critical success. All right. <laughs> um, you distinctly hear, like, skittering behind you. I'm like, turn and look back. You don't see anything. Oh, wait, you got a critical? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you, you do it in time. You see, like, a shadow head back the way you came. It's behind us. But the pull is still down. The voice wasn't behind us. I the voice was in front of us. I, mean, I flashed the light behind us. Do I make a luck roll? <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping the light towards, your, towards the front. Oh, you. You you flash light and there's nothing there. Mm. Well, I there was think, there was movement uh, in the shadows behind us. I saw something go back the way that we've come. I think this is more important. Uh, I don't want to get surrounded this by things. This might be the source. The source. That might be the key source. to ending it all, which would be great if while we take care of that, he's giving her the milk bath. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's so worked. We can tie. <laughs> yes. So let's go forward. Let's that's do it. What, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm ready. Oh. I'm ready. Oh I want to see what this is. I am. I am. So you're just you're gonna keep going down. Yeah. All right. I'm. I'm My like, occult is. I'm like, like <laughs> watching behind us. I'm okay. You're, you're, you're so so there's. I got a light totally, in front. Like, I'm doing yeah, the light. Do you have back. a flashlight? No. I'm okay. shining the light behind us. I'm, so you're I, shining the light. Okay. I'm forward. Yeah. All right. And my my occult is going nuts in my brain. <laughs> but he is he is shining the light back, so I have light to look back. Yeah. We're we're not gonna. We're sure. gonna try not to. Are they glowing? That. At all? No. They're not glowing. I keep wanting them to glow. <laughs> um. You come, so you descend yeah. for, it feels like 10, 15 minutes. Oof. And yeah, you come into a deep. room and you hear the voice say, come no further or we will reveal ourselves. How many are you? Who are you? Come no further. But we want to see you. Ah, my sanity oh. says otherwise. Right. As soon as you say we want to see you, I cover your eyes. Thank you. <laughs> um, light flashes in the oh. room. Mm. Yeah, there's like so. There's an uncomfortable yeah. moment as yeah. you like mm. are like, trying to decide if you want to open your yeah. eyes or not, yeah. and it's yeah. super painful to open yeah. your eyes, blinking through tears of yes. pain. And I actually did put my hand over your eyes. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, and when you come to standing in front of you are six corpses. Oh, time to roll, Sid. Oh, that's not even that bad. They that's are, bad for me. They're, they're walking. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll now. That's less good. But <laughs> yeah, everyone make a sanity roll. Okay, I, I so succeeded. Like, this so. is like you know. Right. Remember Slim Goodbody? There's a '70s reference for no, you, kids. No, I don't. Yes. yes. So yes. Slim Goodbody was this creepy guy in the '70s hey. who wore a leotard that was the entire inner workings of your body. So it was oh. like he didn't have any skin. And he like would do like, you know, he was like a health guy, but like I, as a kid, I was just like, he's terrifying. <laughs> he has no skin and we're all okay with this. But that is what is in front of you. Six people with no skin. Okay, Whoa. and they're Mercedes, explaining but that... how everything works. Yeah, no, there's very little, huh. sadly, there's very little explaining. Did anybody mi miss the sanity roll? No. All right, everybody loses one sanity. Okay. I hold onto my flashlight. Oh. It's like clinging to it. Actually, the flashlight will go low. <laughs> the flashlight goes low. I don't want to see all the details of this. I mean, the, the, the room's lit up. Low. Uh, Actually, the, the room's room lit, lit up. up. Is, anybody here, matter, is anybody here a doctor? Matter. No. 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 Is it, anybody who wants to can make a medicine I can do skill. second aid. <laughs> <laughs> my medicine is uh, kind yeah, of crap. Yeah. Anybody who has medicine can make a medicine roll. No. Yeah. I only got one. Yeah. Okay. One. Um, are they burnt? They are not. Well, I mean... Does it Maybe their skin, skin burnt, burnt off. off. I don't know. the witches. Well, they don't seem to be in any pain. Okay. Okay. They are just standing Psych. there, and there's kind of like a standoff. Okay. Oh, we can win. <laughs> no, it's like we don't need to win. Hello. Okay. Why are you here? We're trying to find out the origins of a curse. We are the cursed. What cursed you? What happened? Witches. Oh. So it was more than just the Vane family that were cursed? We are the Vanes. The mausoleum. Yes. Uh, are they f are they female? I mean, you'd need to make a medicine roll to be sure. <laughs> yeah. Or you could well, ask. I know, the, 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 the sh uh, sh like a female shape with, you know, no, hips it, and whatnot. Well, so we ask them, it's like, uh, hips and whatnot? I know. <laughs> you know, you know, no, 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 do, do you have a name that we can call you? Mm -hmm. Instead of just you, do you have a name that we could call you? I. Uh, Never I want to get this name come up with right. <laughs> well, no. The, the running joke is I forget the name that I came up with, but uh, no, I, this is a very specific name that I want to make sure I get right. Okay. And that is. I am Evangeline Vane. There it is. There she is. She, she was the first. She was the one that was cursed. I am not the first. You're that not? we know of? Oh. The, 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 I have a hard time looking at her, but the, the story as I understand it was that you testified against witches and they cursed you, but you're not the first? Well, the witches Those. could have cursed other. Well, tell us more. Those curses were in a, were, they were nothing. The truth, the yes. truth, is my family cursed itself. How? Centuries before, our bloodline was tainted by mm -mm 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 -mm. the curse. Here we go. Um, we. We worshipped Mordegon, the charnel god. My family performed rites of cannibalism and debauchery. We dined on fe human flesh. And we, the women of the Vane family, have paid the price. That's horrible. Why, why the women? Why do you judge us? No, no, it's horrible what they did to you. It's horrible what's happened to you. Nothing has happened to us. We have chosen this. Are you the ones who are terrorizing the countryside? We are the ones who feed when we must feed. She, she's been here for about 400 years. How many are are you? Hmm. It's very unnerving to see someone smile with no skin. Yeah. 
we are as many as we need to be, and soon we will be one more. Eloise. Why do they keep our sister from us? Because she hasn't chosen this. We do not choose to become gods. We are made gods. We are in the image of Mordegon. Eloise. I don't think about this. I don't think the do, do they? <laughs> <laughs> do, do they react to the the, the the staves I have or anything like that? No, they don't seem to. There doesn't seem to be any reaction. Um, this is very right now. This is very much a standoff. Yes, you know, they are. They are. And um, mm, Eloise will grow in strength, and soon she will leave that place and not return. She will come to us. She already feels the call of Mordegon. Until she feeds, she is incomplete. Mm. So she wasn't the one. Oh, she wasn't the one. No, but she no. She I think she tried and she was stopped. But I don't think the the other ones were. She has to feed on human flesh to become as the chart like now. her family. Perfect. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Skin's pretty nice though. <laughs> It's pretty, pretty nice, nice though. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's none of them in the mausoleum. Now tell me, flesh, why have you come here? Well, well to, to seek answers. I have given you answers. Huh? And so I think that's really all the reason that we've came, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Huh. yeah. So, well, thank you for, for, for giving us your wisdom. Really appreciate um, your time. Yeah. Bring <laughs> us our sister. <sighs> they have wielded other curses, other uh, magics to keep her contained. They. I smell magic upon you. Mm. It's. Uh, did you happen thing. to bring? You did, didn't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course I brought this. Son of a bitch. <laughs> of course I brought this. <laughs> well, oh, I was thinking. I was thinking me, there's, but there's no. Scary. I think little oh, column A, little column B. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I smell magic on you. And you. And it's on shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, think that's going to hurt these, them. Uh, Flamethrower, maybe. If only you had those Molotovs. Right? Uh, no, Bring I'm not going to waste my alcohol on that. us our sister. Well, we can't make any promises. And we'll Why miss. not? Well, it's not really we are, a choice. Yeah, not our, not we, place. we are strangers to this land. This is not our decision to make. All of my sisters and I have gone through what Eloise goes through now. Imagine the fear she feels, the terror. The, she doesn't understand, but she is called to take her place here. We do, we do not we do not con we do not do undue harm. We merely survive. But you have to eat people to survive. Yes. We eat cattle as well. I mean, we we eat, we eat cattle too. Huh, you got that in common. Yeah. <laughs> not so different, you and I. Why she like the beef? It's like that Breakfast and Tiffany song. <laughs> <laughs> but. So, but you, but how often do you have to eat people to survive? Or do you have to, or do you just like to? She did I mean, say given, they yeah, did what they do to survive. To well, I know, but that, I know what she said. I'm just asking. Um, we, cattle sates our hunger. 
the Hawaii people? I think to become as a right. Yes. Ah. But there were there were two other killed. They were not eaten. They were clawed to death. Eloise was not in control. She doesn't understand. She didn't know what she had to do. Does she know why they lock her behind magic? Does she know what she is? They say she doesn't remember. They don't tell her. They try to keep her from us. Bring us our sister. Slowly backing away now. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else we wants are. to back away? Yeah, no, we're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We got the staves. And we're gonna. We, we, we will. We will consider your request. Uh, thank you for answering our questions. You have two nights. Oh no, that doesn't work. You shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't do that. Well, that well, in, two nights, in two nights, we will free Eloise, and she will feast. And five bucks says I know exactly who she's going to feast on. Mm -hmm. It's you. I'm back in. Oh, west. unlikely. Oh, let, let's go. No, yeah, we're yes. going. Oh, I'm going. We're, we're going. They're allowing you to leave. Okay. Good. Cool. Okay. Let's go. Like as soon as you step out of the room, it's dark again. <sighs> Hold on, I can't see. Lights on. Lights on. Lights on. Didn't turn on. Yeah, he didn't turn his yeah. flashlight off. <laughs> mm. It's got like a car battery in it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's it didn't take yep. me a second or two to adjust yeah, yeah, back to dark yep, light. Yeah, <laughs> we're going. We're going. Although, yeah, it's not. It's it's, it's going to be a trot. Because it's like, not only do we have to get back for dinner, but like, the smell <laughs> is all over us. Um, yeah. So it's a little harder to get out without the pull to guide you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to make the track roll. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to require a track roll. I, I didn't think about when we were coming down of making marks because I was following. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. make you an offer. Yeah. You can get oh. out super fast, but it's going to require a roll. Or you can take. Probably more time than you're comfortable with. What kind I mean, I'm not going to succeed. What the kind role, of role? But I want what kind anyways. of role? I would accept a spot hidden. Oh, we can make spot hidden. All right. Let's... All right. So somebody make me a spot hidden roll. Is it only one person? One person. Oh. Oh. One. Right. One. Who one. has the highest spot hidden? I got a 45. 63. Uh, 55. 68. There. There it is. That's why I'm like, oh. Here comes the Amy. Oh. <laughs> Emma? We are not going home tonight. <laughs> we didn't write that down. Did you get a hundred? No, no, but I, I got, no, no. Well, he got 90. very close to a hundred. 97? 97? Yes. Oh. Okay. We're not right, so we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't redo that. No, we can't redo a fumble. Do you right. want to? So. It's pretty good. Yes, oh. I really do. I do want to get Love out of here. Love so, right. I'd like to make it up to get a bath before. I know exactly where to go. Follow me. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, Silvana, says, I know exactly where to go. And 40 minutes later, oh. we are so lost. You are utterly lost. Why are we going, oh, going down? down again? Why are we yeah. going down yeah. again? Uh, no, no, we, we did this before. No, um, no, we didn't. no, no. And no. you... There's no way to use these to get out. <laughs> I mean, we you can know, you can, you can follow the pull back to the sisters. Yes. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> they will eat us. <laughs> Okay, um, no, if we follow, if we so if we follow one wall, <laughs> one side of the wall, we'll eventually get out. Always left. Lo logically, that makes sense. Though. I always mm -hmm. use the right hand. Right so, hand rule. Right hand rule. No, we'll, we'll split up. We have no. <laughs> Can I use my archaeology to figure out the cave system to get out? It was made by uh, stone not, stone. Uh, I would yeah. Oh, before. so here's the here's the thing. <laughs> About thirty minutes into Silvano's. Uh, Stint as a ranger, it stops being a mine, and this is a full-on cave. Oh no! Oh, I Biscuits. told you we needed the ropes. And the <laughs> you know what? If we had gone in the right direction, we wouldn't have needed it. Man, there's a lot of blame going on. Oh, <laughs> another Silvano detour. <laughs> but we definitely were never went to a cave before, so let's turn around. Well, no, we yes, ne yes. we have never around. been yes, we've never been this way before. All right, so. After another hour oh. of wandering around, uh, I think I recognize your now. your flashlight comes on something you weren't expecting, a door. There wasn't a door. No, but I really want to know what it is. 
Oh, uh, maybe there's a bath. <laughs> maybe it leads to like an Should old we listen? stairwell up to an old office. Should we listen to see if Yes. Yes. Don't like yeah, everybody make a listen roll. Oh, no. no. 90. Nope. No. Mm-mm. Everything's fine. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Let's open it. My favorite sentence in the world. Yeah. I'll go first. Go All right. It. The door is not locked. You open the door, and that is when you step in and get your first sight of the mausoleum of the veins. Called it. Oh. Oh. And that's where we're going to end tonight. Uh, I knew it had to be the mausoleum. Yeah. So, uh, next, next Saturday, we'll... Uh, We'll, I think, Tom, you're gone next Saturday. I'll be here. Okay, you'll be here? Great, all right. So we'll be a full table. Uh, And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll pick it up here from where we are in the mausoleum. Thank you so much for your likes, your subscribes, your comments, uh, the chat, which has made Thomas laugh at least three times tonight. (laughs) We can hear him. Uh, we really appreciate it. Baroness, we love you. I know that you're off uh, doing cool things, but it's uh, uh, you, you, you hold a special place in our little show's heart. Uh, and don't forget, everything we do here, you've got Monday, you've got Natural One. Start your week off with a critical fail. Tuesday, you've got the Chaos Agents. Yeah. Wednesday, yeah. Uh, we do board games. Are we playing Arkham this week? I think we're playing Arkham this week. Damn it. Sorry. I don't get two <laughs> days off. You're, you're, um, you're off of Gloomhaven. That's true. Uh, so those three are live on stream. We also have up on YouTube our last, our latest episode of Gloomhaven. I finally, we got a, we retired a character. I'm very excited. <gasps> I'm a new character. It's uh, super exciting. So there's just tons of quests and chaos stuff, and we are going to be doing all sorts of fun things. Uh, Dundracon is coming up. A bunch of us are going to be at Dundracon. Come, come see us there. Come play games. I'll be running Call of Cthulhu for Chaosium nice. at uh, Dundracon. It is a fantastic. Fantastic. They made a, a, a con game. It's a two-hour game, and it's a murder mystery where you're all circus folk in the 20s. It's outstanding. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so thank you again. Thanks so much for spending part of your geek end with us, and we will see you next week.